welcome to the Sports 5 Center live from the Championship Capital of Philippine Basketball, the Smart Araneta Coliseum with all the confidence in the world, I can say this is the last day <laughs> of the of the governor's cup. Sure, sure, na ako dyan. Sure, na ako sigurado. Itatay ako credibility ko. Tonight is the last night of the season. Of the season, yeah. Uh, welcome everyone. Miko Alili here with, of course, Coach Ronnie Maxano. And I'm sit seated beside. I'm sure he's going to be the best dressed coach in the world championships <laughs> next year. Sure, yeah. Sure, the sure. Co first Sana coach. Sana tayo. Hi, good evening. <laughs> okay. Uh, also joining us in our special coverage uh, tonight, uh, covering uh, the Petron camp. That will be Nico Angelo Ramos. I have to include Angelo <laughs> para di magkalituan eh. Uh, of course, covering the game will be Magu Marjan and Jason Webb. And covering Sammy Coffey will be the lovely Erica Padilla. Uh, we'll get to those uh, get, get to those two lovely uh, one lovely girl and three lovely gentlemen <laughs> in just a bit uh, let's take off uh, uh, let's start our conversation by talking about Junmar Fajardo now we actually have two tweets that will help uh, get this conversation rolling here I'm going to read the tweets right now uh, from Austin Hohilia we saw a better Junmar Fajardo this season thanks to coach and the Gila's coaching staff and then the next tweet from John Paul in addition to uh, Coach Cho, the concept of letting Junmar dominate while reducing the impact uh, of Santos and the Petron uh, wings. Of course, mentioning uh, in those two tweets, uh, Coach, you were uh, prominently mentioned. Uh, how much credit do you want to take uh, for the, you know, the emergence of the Kraken here in the Governor's Cup? First of all, very little really. I think it's been Daniel DeFonso has been doing a great job mentoring Junmar Fajardo and the Petron coaching staff who's put him in a great position but I've been asked get, getting that question all the time and I just want to show some very uh, rare scene footage and we're doing it here on our PLDT Telpad if you uh, if you uh, log in on the on the Telpad my DSL here we have uh, from Lithuania Junmar Fajardo getting blocked in fact bumang success of floor but look at how if we can pause it right here you know look at how tall that center is Yan tao ni Junmar Fajardo, but he's able to get a drop pass from uh, Jeff, uh, uh, Jeff Chan here as we continue the, the video, roll the footage, and he gets a dunk on this guy. So, you know, pag nagugulat kayo sa linalaro ni Junmar, kami hindi masyado because we've seen this. These are the, the, the things that he did in Lithuania against much bigger opposition. He gets a good seal, up and under, reverse. You know, he fights against these uh, big uh, Lithuanians, much taller, much more attacked than him, inside the paint, gets his patented reverse pivot. How many times have we seen Junmar Fajardo make this move in this series? And you know, if people are asking me, bakit sobrang galing ni Junmar Fajardo, yan po ang dahilan. Dahil kay Daniel Defonso, dahil sa coach niya, as dahil sa experience na nakuha niya sa Gilas. Uh, coach Ronnie, I actually, I was watching Danny I. Uh, tutor Jun Marcanina right before the game during the warm ups mga how to, how to receive entry passes I mean how big is it for you for a young player like Jumar to have a mentor like Daniel Defonso you know for a fact the kind of impact that Danny I had sa PBA that alone commands respect galing kay Jun Mar and when you have someone trying to mentor you sharing whatever experience and the uh, skill sets that he had or he has in his many years playing in the PBA you have no choice but to listen and follow Dahil merong proweba at patuloy na pinapakita ni Danny Ay. At ang kagandahan, eh, hindi patapos yung karera ni Danny Ay. Magkasama pa sila sa team. Therefore, yep. if you look at the positives and equate that, kung bakit mula sa Gilas team ni Coach Chot at dito pumupotok si June Mark sa ating huling conference, eh, yung kind of effort na inambag niya, kailangan tignan mo rin yun. Hindi lang yung ngayon. Dahil siguradong chinaga ni Danny Ay, chinaga ni June Mark, at pareho nilang chinaga na matuto sa isa't isa. Sigurado tayo, pati si Danny Ay, natututo rin sa kanyang pagturo dito kay Junmar. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, great point. Now, maybe people are wondering why are we talking about Junmar prior to Game 7. <laughs> I guess, yeah. siguro gut feel natin, Junmar will be a big factor in the game uh, tonight. Factor sa San Mig defense, factor for the Petron offense. Now, let's bring in uh, Magu and Jason. Let's bring them back in here. I think, Magu, you have questions here for Coach Chod and for Coach Ronnie. I just wanted to ask you, Coach Chod and Coach Ronnie, na bukod kay Junmar for hard to which among the veterans ang mas kakailanganin na magkabilang kupunan in this sudden death game? Wow, 
Well, I just have a hunch, and you know, I, I may be wrong, but we haven't heard uh, about Denok Miranda too much in this series. So if you're speaking, if you're talking about a veteran who has to come through big time, I think Denok Miranda will play a big role if uh, if he gets his opportunity because I think he can come in and really do some damage, not only offensively but defensively, more importantly. Well, the big names have delivered already for both of these teams here in the series. Pero pagdating kasi sa Game 7, wala kang kasiguruhan eh. Alam na alam ni Coach Choto na kailang yeah. Game 7 uh, series na siya na, na hinawakan. Pagdating dito sa dulo, eh, para sa mga coaches, magdarasal ka na yung mga players mo meron pang natitira na lakas. Yung puso is without doubt lang dyan yan eh. Yung desire will always be there. Kampinato pinaglalaban. Pero yung unang bulusok ng mga veterano, yan yung hinahanap. Model, eh, yung magdadala eh. I expect that the team that has that first start, the first blitz, will have a huge advantage in winning this final game. Okay, so Ronnie, of course, Chot and myself will be right back at the half. In the meantime, let's start game number seven. Sending over to Magumarjan and Jason Will. At dumating na nga po ang takdang oras, ang kahuli-huli ang laro ng 2013 season ng inyong Philippine Basketball Association. It all boils down to the next 48 minutes of basketball para ating malaman sino nga bang magkakampiyon sa 2013 PBA PLDD Top Ad Governors Cup Finals. Ang mga lobo sigurado ng babagsak pero sino nga ba ang magse-celebrate at sino ang maiyakan? Yan ang ating aalamin. San Mc Coffee after winning games 2, 4, and 5 eh sasandala na naman si James Yap at hahanapan ng big game kung gusto nga nilang makuha na etong Governor's Cup. Pagdating naman dito sa Petron, nakuha nila games 1, 3, and 6 at ang hahanapin nilang production ay eh manggagaling sa 2013 MVP na si Arwin Santos, tigatlong panalo, San Mc tatlo, Petron tatlo, pero apat dapat para mahuli ang kampiyonato. Here we go! Ang kahuli-huli ang laro nga para dito sa Governor's Cup in front of this capacity crowd in front of the smart inside the smart Araneta Coliseum and business will be finished by the end of this night. Magumar John Mapo, kasama natin si Jason Wen. You know, Magu Game 7, uh, two most uh, pleasing words that are natin in the sports industry. You know when it's Game 7 that you're gonna expect something great and that's what we're expecting from both teams and in game seven si sabi lang ano ba importante you know what it's gonna be a player's game but at the same time remember heart is important outside of talent heart and poise kailan makita sa dalawang kapunan pero bago tayo magumpisa Jason meron munang mensahe para sa ating lahat si Commissioner Attorney Chito Salude siya ngayon ay kasama ni Ms. Erica Padilla before we start the game with me is our good Commissioner Attorney Chito Salud, Sir the season has been very successful and it's about to conclude tonight. Any words from you to the fans of the, of the PBA? Well, on behalf of the member teams of PBA and the Board of Governors led by our Chairman Robert Nunn, nagpapasalamat po kami sa lahat ng mga fans ng PBA for supporting PBA 2013 season. Record high sa attendance, record high sa TV ratings, thanks to TV5, tapos record high rin sa gate receipts. In fact, Yung Alaska versus Ginebra nung May, pinakamaraming tao na nanood dito sa Araneta Coliseum. 23,436. Mahirap na i-break yun, Erika. Talaga naman pong napaka-successful at matagumpay talaga tong season natin. But just in a more or less one week, sir, magsisimula naman natin ang pinakaaabangang rookie draft. What are we going to look forward to this? Well, that's a deeply talented pool. And my message to the rookies... Your primary responsibility is to play your hearts out and that's because of the fans. Para sa fans yan, kaya good luck sa kanila. It's a privilege, it's a responsibility for these rookies. Kagaya po ng sinabi nyo, maraming aasahan at pagdating ng mga rookie na yan, sigurado po ako pinaghandaan din natin kung paano bubuksan ang susunod na season ng PBA. Ano po bang aabangan natin, Commissioner? Napaganda, no? Isa lang po ang mandato ng mga team owners sa PBA. Pagandahin pa ang mga games, bring it closer to the people. So, sa opening natin, tatlong laro po, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, gaganapin November 17 para sa mga fans po natin yan sana supportahan po nila yan. Thank you so much Commissioner. Balik sa inyo Magu and Jason. 
So yan nga po, no? bago pa man matapos ang 2013 season, ang dami na natin aabangan para sa susunod na kabanata ng inyong PBA. Pero bago yan, kailangan tapusin natin to. Pakinggan natin sino magsisimula para sa Game 7 na to. It is perhaps the two most exciting words in all of championship basketball. Game 7! Between the San Mei Coffee Mixers and the Vitron Blaze Boosters with the winner to be crowned the champion of the 2013 PBA Governor's Cup. Let's meet the starters. First, for the San Mei Coffee Mixers! At guard number 14, Mark Barroca. At the other guard number 18, James Yap. At center number 15, Mark Pingris. At forward number 38, Joe DeVance. And at the other forward number 23, Marcus Blakely. Sunday Coffee Mixers head coach is Tim Cohn. And now the starters for the Vetron Blaze Boosters. At guard number 5, Alex Kabagnot. At the other guard number 13, Marshall Lassiter. At center number 22, Jumar Fajardo. At forward number 29, Arwin Santos. And the other forward number one, Elijah Millsap. Head coach for the Vetron Blaze Boosters is G. Abanilia. Our referee so the starters have already introduced inside the Smart Arneta Coliseum. Based on their body language, demeanor nila, Jason, meron ka bang napansin nag-stand out, meron bang llamado, meron dihado, o kanya-kanya na to, that Game 7. You know, it's a Game 7. When you look at both teams, wala ka nang itatago dito, wala ka nang tinatago na baraha dito. You've already shown your cards to both teams, and you're just hoping that all those days of practice, all those hours of watching film for these coaches, that the players will be able to translate and will be able to perform to the best of their ability in the biggest game for themselves this season. And here we go. Sudden death now on their way. Ang mga nakabuti ng Petrona, ang unang nakakuha ng possession. Kabag not looking to settle things down right away para dito sa Petron. Arwin tatanggap. Let's it over to Millsap. Yung Bayani ng fourth quarter in game six. Feeding Fajardo. He's got out for point back. Defense in a sandwich. Look at that defense. But Ron is going to be very, have to be very wary of all the different looks na ibibigay ng sandwich coffee sa kanila. Ingris spinning. Puts it up and in. And sandwich coffee will draw first blood inside the big dome. Mark Pingris, one of those guys that, you know, he's that energy guy, along with Mark Barroca. Mark Barroca gets the steal. Game six, not the best of games for Mark Barroca. Actually, if you look at it, after two best of the game on, best best player of the game honors, was invisible that game. Kailangan na kailangan siya dito. No points in 29 minutes of action. Barroca Barroca comes up with a steal. Make this guy lunch to James. Barroca bothering that rebound, and Paul will remain with Sammy Coffey. Barroca from the corner. Doesn't work. Pingris, though, keeps it on that side of the floor. That's defensive rebounds to start for the San Coffee. Usually a barometer for the aggressiveness of teams. Pingris, nakikipagtatawanan dito kay Fardo. Tumulong pa si Millsap. Sumakay pa kayo. Remember, Mark Pingris in game number six actually limped off at about the four or five minute mark. Came in when he came back. Doon na nawala yung kalamangan habang nakaupo siya. This time around, he looks very sharp to start the game. Seemingly walang iniinda doon sa naramdaman sa game number six. Millsap with the leather. Nahanap itong si Lassiter. 4-0 is the score. Petron di pa nakakabutas. Still couldn't get on the board. Pingris with that rebound. Maroka contra Kabagnot. Punta kagad siya dito kay Blakely. Harvey trying to keep in front of Marcus. Blakely na ipit na muwersa. Iluwa lang ng ring. Start of the game. Although that is a miss, you can see that the better shots are being given dito sa San Mike Coffee. Yung mga tutok na pupunta sa kanila. And they're seemingly more aggressive and stronger. Millsap on the move. Loses that leather. Arwin to Junmar. Ayo pa rin. Pero this time around, meron foul. Rigzona power rebound to. Brought to you by Rigzona Man with 50% more long-lasting protection so you can do more. Two 
Omar Fajardo shooting just over 50% in the series. But then when you look at his misses, they are always in, in and around the ring. Fajardo finally nakabutas na para dito sa Petron. Two minutes and 15 already having gone by. Yap on the move. Sinalubong ni Millsap. Ball will remain with the blue shirts of San Mig. But even if you look at the lineups on the floor, a lot of experience for both teams. But you cannot replicate yung paano yung makiramdam na isang Game 7. So if you can look at, you have to look at all the players and see sino ba yung napapagod dito. Because remember, Game 7 regardless, even if you're a long-time pro, very stressful. English at the post, kicks it out. Devon said a few big three-pointers back in Game 6, gets it back over the ping. Mark Pingris, six points, all the six points of San Mig Coffee sa kanya nang gagaling. Sa kanya yung opensa, siya pa po po habantay sa pinakamagaling na player na pick up. Look at the fire in the eyes of the Pinoy Sakuragi. Maklasing focus ang kanyang pinakikita rito. He is tasked to try and stop Elijah Millsap. Wala pa rin mag-imbound. Ayun, Lassiter will come out para mag-inbound para dito sa Petron. Millsap won't have been. Elijah to the corner, Arwin from the baseline, gets the first team goal para sa Petron. And that's a shot that Arwin has made for most of the conference, something that he has to make in this series, just to make Blakely very honest and not allow Blakely just to sit in the paint. Devans, nice up fake one from Millsap. No go on the drive though, Millsap puts his head down. Gets it to the corner. Lassiter attacking the defense of San Mig. Puts it up and in. He's actually here very early and is watching guys shooting before the game. Marshall Lassiter during warm-ups is hitting everything that he threw up. Scary player para dito sa San Mig Coffee because he's a guy that can get hot and he starts out well here. Big looking for Blakely. Pass a little too high, pero kaya naman pala, hinablot mula sa likod. We take a look at this Rain or Shine Dirt Shield defensive block brought to us by Rain or Shine Dirt Shield. Semi-gloss finish, dirt resistant paint, your best defense against dirt on balls. Yap, gustong atakin, eto si Lassiter, nice pick from Ping. Pull-up jumper doesn't work, Arwin and Millsap nagagawan. Swerte sila si Kabagnut pa nakapulot ng bola. Lassiter on the move, shovel pass out to Kabagnot. Poor shot from Alex is a miss. Blake lead to Ping. Oh, nasuntot ang padon ni Millsap. Yep, though, tracks it down. Devance wants to reset this attack. Sabi ni Baroka, libre naman siya. Tumama. Doon sa shot clock, inpalbog no. Very lucky is Petron to get away with that one. Two people guarding the guy at the post, Libre Salabas. Mark Barocco just couldn't knock it down. Mark Barocco now over 2 from the field, coming off that scoreless Game 6. How important is it na makita niyang lumusot naman yung bola sa net? You know, but, but other than that, he, he has played on both ends of the court. Even if he doesn't score big, he can do other things. It's Elijah Millsap, Curry's a PLDD, Talpad 3, Lamang Nam Piton, 8-6. And this feels like a Game 7. You know, sometimes you feel in some games, nag-aantay pa, teams are just feeling each other out. Right now, both teams know what to do, and they have, they've had some success at it. Devon contra Milsa. Joe loses his dribble. Gets it over to Baroka. The 19-footer is good. With almost five minutes having gone by, this is going to be the first deadlock of the contest. Warning and si assistant coach Todd Perbs, Netong Petron, for complaining. You were asking how important was it for that shot to go in for Baroka. Even if he missed the first loop, he took the third with complete confidence. So, non issue. Millsap, long one on the way. Back iron snap one, Fajardo with the offensive board. Arwin of Gunshy resets it with Lassiter. Another PLDD three-point shot mula naman ngayon kay Marshall Lassiter. Yeah, like I said, I was watching warm-ups and he was thro throwing up those shots and everything was falling for him. You know, when you shoot well in warm-ups as a player, you come in with complete confidence. Five of the 11 points para sa Petron. Galing dito kay Super Marcio. Baroka contra Kabagnot gets it over the ping. Back out to Baroka. 
two-man game para sa San Mig King. Sinali si James. Doesn't work. Pajardo clears it para sa Petron. Lasseter pushing it against four. Magantay muna na rest back. Now they get into the post. Pajardo contra the bounce. Pajardo shake it. Loses it. Paroca is fouled by Kamagno. Give credit to that San Mig Coffee defense because that was a good early post attack but the defense able to collapse. Time out muna tayo dito para sa Petron. Pero kay Coach Tim, wala na daw po itong pag-usapan pa ang Game 6. Ang importante ngayon, may chance pa rin sila para sa Game 7. They've been here before and it's not about redeeming themselves noong nakaraang Governor's Cup, nor is it about proving na mas mahusay sila sa Petron. It's simply all about winning. And naniniwala si Coach Tim that he has star players who can do big things, but it's the little things that win championships. Balik sa inyo, Magu Jason. Speaking of big things, Mark Baroka scoring now his fourth point of the game. So I only coach him na isipin na kahit anong factor pa that led to this game seven, Jason. It's just about these 48 minutes. Uh, you know, there's many ways to attack it. And for Coach Tim Cole, he, he would just want a fresh, a clean slate. Uh, or yung iniisip na mga bata niya. Itong game na to, the 48 minutes that they have to play well. And you know, you break it down, just every possession, getting the basketball, you know, those little things. Baroka once again, this time, he loses that leather. Arwin gets it out to Kabagno. 11-10 is the score. Petron still up by one. They go deep. Junbar gets the basket. Make a samapang foul. The nice thing that Junbar does in this play, you can see that he's able to run the floor very well. And after that, what's important is to get good post position early. Look at the shot clock. 17 seconds, you're already attacking the post. You don't give that opportunity para sa defense na malaman na nandun na siya kagad. Junmar though misses on that bonus as we remind everybody that the all-new dual car PLDD Talpad is the world's first landline and tablet in one that lets you do more. 13-10 is the score. San Mc down by three. They go over to Mark Andy Baroka. He gets away from Kabagnot. Feeds Devons for a long one. Bang! LDD Telpad three-point shot yan to tie the game at 13. Elijah Millsap going for the steal there. Joe Devance makes him pay. Santos surveys. Gets it over to Junmar. Fakes that handoff. At meron ng foul bago pa man siya makaporma. Devance whistled for that arm bar on the back of Junmar. Tabagnot at Baroka. Grabe, nagtatakin pa lang ng jersey si Milsap. Nagkikis-kisa na sila dyan. Lasseter, turnaround jumper. A four shot there in the part of Marshall. You can see this actually fading away as well as uh, moving to his left. Gotta get that, get your shots within the flow of the offense. Ping, who scored the first six points para sa San Mig, gets it over to Devance. Joe Contra Arwin bounces it to James. Baroka, back over to Ping. Shot clock is at three. Sakuragi, no. Ping is pa rin. Napagaan ng bola. Millsap dives for it. It ends up with Devans. Blakely scoreless so far. Looking for his first hit. Talabas muna nila yung bola. Paroka on the run. Wala pa rin. Paroka ulit. Ayaw talaga. And now Petron will go out on the run. Kabagno to Lasseter. No go on that attack. They had a good idea, you know. It was a good three coming off transition. Just not falling for them. But also credit San Mig Coffee attacking the glass. Of two offensive rebounds in on that play alone. That's the three and a half remaining sa quarter number one. Tabla pa rin ang ating labanan. Baroka couldn't get away from Cabagnor. They go to James. Hit his first couple of shots, or missed his first couple of shots. Gets this one to go. First shots of his, nandun sa labas. Now he notices, first shot's not falling, why don't I attack? You know, remember, James is just not a shooter, he's a scorer. Sandvik retakes the lead. Santos looking to tie. They go to Millsap. He attacks that baseline, nasa Raduhan. Four seconds on the shot clock. Para dito sa Blaze Boosters. Kabagnok with a long one. Good box out on the part of Joe Devance. Not giving Junmar Fajardo a chance to even get close to that basketball. Para kay Blakely, kahit scoreless pa siya, meron siyang anim na rebound. 
Pero nakakataw na sa ating palakihin na naman ang kanilang kalamangan. Baroka with a kabagdang recovery. Kinglis couldn't sneak it through. Pero nandudong pa rin si Ping. Not getting up on the play. Big difference right now when it comes to offensive rebounds. Lima na ang nakukuha ng San, Mid San Migkothi. Only two on the part of Petron. Millsap splitting two defenders. They go to Arwin. Two-minute warning ng ating first quarter. San Miguel on the attack. Blakely handoff papunta kay Baroka. Mark Baroka has been part of most plays in this quarter. You know, he has, he has actually been holding the ball a lot para dito sa San Miguel Coffee, be it assisting the basketball, setting up the offense. Well, it's easy to assume that this, if at all possible, is bigger than just a Game 7, bigger even uh, than a championship para dito sa Petron. It's an opportunity to write a storybook ending to the frustrating saga that has been the Petron novella. Pero lahat ng nakausap kong Petron players earlier before this ball game started said they're not in the business of reminiscing. All throughout this conference, they've been in the business of winning. At sabi nila, today should be no different because according to them, it's business as usual. Okay? Yeah, you don't want the drama, especially you don't want to deal with all that. That emotion. There's enough emotion playing a game seven. 19-15 is the score. Sandvik up by four. The Kramer, if you know, so it's not been a for Hardo. Lutz also there for Kabagot. Kramer delivers on those two points. But in here, passing on the part of Arwin Santos there. And a quick run on the part of Edon Petron Blaze Boosters. You're going to see a lot of that. In a game seven, coaches are not going to allow teams to have long runs because they want to be able to control that remember there is no tomorrow that's why they make sure the coaches make sure that teams don't get into long runs na itatag na na San Miguel biggest lead of the game at 6 points kaso off that Petron timeout back to back hits para sa kanila first at West Millsap and then he fed Kramer as we take a look at this Fee Fresh Sigaw ng Bayan brought to you by Fee Fresh Karunungan Kabutihan Kapayapaan Bukang Bibig Salamig so those back to back hits in a enjoying a Petroniverse in attendance brings them to within two points. And all of a sudden, si Chris Lutz, ayaw man lang patanggapin ang bola. Ito si Mark Maroka. Devance gets it across. Nandiyan dyan na si BJ Simon. Kasama ng tatlo si na Blakely and James Yap. Blakely susukatin si Kramer. Gets it over to Maroka. The one-hander is no good. Rebound para kay Millsap. Well, and Petron going that lineup that they had in game number three in which uh, they don't have Alex Tabagot on the court. Nor are they going to put in their other guards which are dead off as well as uh, the Nepe. Lutz with a stick back. Lamang na dito ang Petron. That's an 8 to nothing run, Jason. And you know, because they were able to make the changes and the changes that they made, very effective. Both Doug Kramer and Chris Lutz coming off the bench ready to give it the points. Passing the pressure between the shot clock and quarter clock, James continues to fire blanks here. Last shot time para sa Petron. Four seconds to go. Millsap in traffic. No. Na bola na pulot ni Lasseter. Pero na na sila ng oras dito. So at the end of the first 12 minutes of action, tabla ang ating labanan at 19 apiece. That was a 6 to nothing run by inside the Big Dome. Para sa huling gabi ng 2013 PLDD Telpat PBA Governors Cup Finals na napapanood live over TV5 at syempre worldwide over Action TV International. Pasalamatan muna natin ang ating mga radio partners. 90.7 Love Radio, 101.1 Yes FM, 96.3 Easy Rock at ang ating mga kapatid over at EZSR 918 AM Sports Radio. Umar John, Jason Webb, Nico Ramos, and Erika Padilla ang inyong quartet. Para sa gabing ito, Sanmig picks up a foul on Lutz to open the second quarter. Sama ni Lutz sa sahig, sina Lassiter, Santos, Kramer, and Milsap. Pinapatin sina Malyari, Simon, Leo Campo, Evans, and Blink. Malyari with a pull-up. Alex, oh! Alex Malyari, actually one of those guys that's want, that wants to have a bounce-back game. 
did not really have a chance to get his game going the last time around because he got into so much foul trouble every time he came in. Dalawa a foul guarding Elijah Milsa. That opens up the scoring about the second frame. Kramer couldn't pull the trigger. They go to Lassiter. Marshall trying to go glass. Kramer couldn't handle it. Here comes Simone. Blakely on the run, puts it up, off the glass. At para kay Marcus Blakely, ah, first two points na yan. Yeah, that's, the, that's actually one of the good signs, if you can call that, para dito sa San Big Coffee. You're in the lead, but at the same time, Marcus Blakely has not had to be dominant, at least on the offensive end. Santos with a 15-footer. That guy is that one. Para sa I just want to go back very quickly. Our first quarter ended 19 all. How close has it been? In every game in this series, the team that has won the first quarter, not a big believer of trends, but you know, let's just put it out there, out there. Every team that has won the first quarter has gone on to win the ball game. It is the first quarter and then we're tied. So, we can't see it. So, what does it mean? We can't see it in game 7. Over time. Ah. <laughs> Lakely, scamper spirit. PJ is free. Simone could have hit. Apat ang hinahabol dito ng Petron. Lassiter to Millsap. They go to Kramer. The bicep jumper is no good. And Sanmig is looking to slow things down. Pero yung 19 all hanggang sa 23-19 ha. Pag pinagkumpara na naman natin yung offense versus defense sa magkabi ng kapunan. Does this say na dahil defensive uh, game, pabor dito sa Sanmig to? Hello, baby. Sanmig has already won a game that had a high scoring game, you know. Object of the game is still, no matter what, at hasa pa rin score. But, uh, you know, for Sanmig Coffee, if they want it to be a high scoring game, they're going to need, like what happened in game number five, a lot of guys to score. You, you, you'd have to think there's a lot of more weapons, scoring wise, para dito sa Petron. Elsa finally gets Petron on the board here in the second quarter. Quarters, mahigit dalawang minuto bago na kayo score etong Petron. Blakely against New PJ. Boot na tayo nabot. Wala kay Santos. That's big para kay Arwin Santos because those are the things that gets him going as well. The defensive end. Pero Blakely gets it right back. Oh, look at him wow. switch hands. Mga labaw doon etong si Marcus. Marcus Blakely, when he came into this league, he was all about he's just gonna try to beat you with quickness and strength. You're talking with Coach Ronnie before the game. Sabi ganon din. Pag maglaro si Blakey para Pilipino na controlled na controlled na hindi na siya yung out of control. Samig once again, but he chance to increase this four-point lead. Evans bothered by Santos. They go to Blakey. Dalawa na sa magupa sa kanya. Here comes Simon. Six on the shot clock para sa Samig. Blakely, is he even aware? Dalawa kalaban. Blakely puts up a bailout shot. Patay ang butike. Diretso sa kamay ni Lutz. Lassiter on the move. Up, up, and a layup. Iluwa lang ng ring. There's little things that players do that make their team or make their offense a bit much easier. Running the, bl the break is one. You see, Marshall has actually been part of all the fast breaks early on. Para dito sa Petron Blaze. Speaking of fast breaks, and yeah, no, Kawasaki rousing fast break to. Brought to you by Rouser 135 by Kawasaki. Rouse the rider in you. Lassiter takes care of the first free throw. As Fajardo checks back in para kay Kramer. Si Tubid waiting dahil si Lassiter ang papalitan niya sa ball game. Kabagnot nagbalik na rin para naman kay Arwin Santos. Sometimes your know, games are all about timing. When you look at this this portion right now. It's going to be a lot of mismatches para sa Petron because San Big Coffee has gone big. The all-new Google for PLDD Topad is the world's first landline and tablet in one that lets you do more. It doesn't matter if it's a mismatch. What does San Petron do? They go into a zone to combat the size of it on San Big Coffee. Alex in the foot race gets it to Millsap. Nice sidestep by Elijah for the two points. So you can see that Alex really doesn't have that, that explosiveness yet. But we, uh, although he doesn't have the explosiveness, he still has the right mind to actually find the right guys that actually have that quickness. Maliari committed that last turnover, gets it over to Blakely. Blakely loses it on the way up. Lassiter pleading for it. Lutz holding on to that leather, takes it to the rack. 
Near steal once again by Lutz. This time around, he is whistled for the foul. At para makabalita tayo, ano nangyayari sa kampo ng Sanmig, balik tayo kami sa Erika. Pinalalahanan lang ni Coach Tim ang Sanmig to be mindful of their spacing so they can have a half court fully covered. But as they do that, be aware of the shooters of Petron na laging mabilis po posisyon para makatira. Balik sa inyo. Speaking of shooters, you see Petron trying to take advantage of this lineup on the floor para sa Sanmig Coffee. There's not a lot of great three-point shooters there. Ingris and Millsap getting entangled. Yeah, same in that zone. BJ Simon is the one guy that Petron has to be guarding from the outside. But you can see Sandvik Coffee, they make their adjustment. They're going to go to the weak side and post their strongest guy right there because on the weak side, Malikit Nagi may iwan jan to sa 2 3 defense. De Ocampo traveling, whistled on him. And si Ingris pa, Shaneng Nadihado sa. Pakiramdam ng San Miguel Planet in attendance uh, during that last sequence. Siya pa yung nagsasabi sa mga teammates na kalma lang, baba na tayo sa depensa. Lutz over to Tubid. Hinahanap si Kabagnon. Pahardo trying to post up against Yan Si. Nilsap, puto pa ka ping! Nilsap pa rin. Couldn't bail him out. Mahardo had a hand on it, pero ang bola nasa San Miguel na. Blakely, nice pass to Simon. Oh, na-overshoot lang yan ni Peter June. What action we are witnessing here inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Alex for three. Doesn't work. Big Luis para sa rebound. Getting it for those, one of those pumps in which both teams unable to score. Now, this is a point in which for San Miguel Coffee, you know, their defense is holding up. Now, can they find that scoring for themselves? Malyari to Simon. Fouled in the act. This will mean three free throws. As we creep up on the halfway mark ng ating second quarter of action. What a good foul on quite a good run in many ways. Elijah Millsap second. And of course, you give those three free throws. Again, we mentioned it. In that lineup, ang babantayan mo dyan, in, ter in terms of that zone defense, you have to locate Peter Jun Simon. Peter Jun Simon scoring his first point of the game. He averages 13 of those. As we take a look at our Sistema Tooth and Gum Care Rookie of the Half. Si Alex Pagliarian, ang ating Sistema Tooth and Gum Care Rookie of the Half. Ready, ready for the big league. With Sistema Tooth and Gum Care, get ready for life. Peter Jun Simon actually missing two out of three, and this is a guy for the season and for the conference shooting over 80 percent. Even in the series, he's been steady at 81. Malagnog jumps it out. Tobit makes a pass out. Good defense on the part of Sandvik Coffee there, not reacting to that pass fake. Lutz on the move, goes glass for the two points. And again, this is going to be a challenge in voice and patience for both for the players on the floor because every time you look at the score, it puro tabla na kikita natin. Del Campo, his pass thwarted by Kamagnot. Sails out of bounds, which should send us into this next timeout. English whistled for it. Timeout muna tayo. Magu Jason, itong uh, rocket science that is the Petron defense strategy to a casual fan. Very complicated, very intricate. Coach Giovanilla, Coach Todd Perks, reaching changing defenses in the middle of San Miguel Coffee uh, offensive sets. Mula sa trap, mula sa man-to-man, -man, pati sa zona. Eh, they're, they're really looking to confound the mixers. Magu Jason? Eh, kung ako, nalilito sa ganyan. Ikaw na lang, Jay. <laughs> You see, but you continue to have to work because on the opposing end, you know that the guys on the opposing team are trying to solve your defense. So it's just like a chess match. If they got going to inside, you better be sure that you also have to make adjustments to the other side. Speaking of defensive stops, Tarako Way Sanmig, Nakabawi and Petron. Three on two, they go to June Mar. Oh, nice stretch for the finger roll. Right now, San Mig Coffee having a problem taking care of the basketball. In the first quarter, they only had two turnovers. Right now, they already have another another three here. 
Jason, when you see a six foot ten guy finish with finesse like that, it is definitely a thing. Make that beauty. Sorry, but we'll make that four already after that one. Yafna E1 Sigabagnog on the run. James delivers the two points. And another time. James Yap, he was a guy that actually, it was so important for him. Na matapos na yung serye nung huling laro in game number six. Played well enough, but then sometimes even if you get, give your best, sometimes cool lang pa rin. Paroka whistled for that bump foul sa pagkakataon na yun, or was it on James? Speaking of James Yap, you can see that right here, it doesn't really matter how many guys are coming up for, uh, coming at him. James finally is able to find some space for himself. Balagnat against Baroka once again. That foul was on Baroka. Junmar hand off to Kubit. No space to operate. Pinalik na lang. Junmar, abat tinukot pa sa kabilang tulo. Gets the basket. May upod pa nga foul. Now, this is the thing. He who gives is able to get it back. Gave the ball to Ronald Tubit. Very unselfish of him. Ronald Tubit had no shot. And because nagkagulo na yung depensa, because they had to react to Ronald Tubit getting to the paint, pumalik rin yung bola dito kay Junmar Fajardo. Fajardo takes care of the bonus as we send it back over to Nico. We'll go just a picture of the kind of focus that Junmar has today. Kanina nag-uusap kami. And for a young guy, he's extremely locked in. Sabi niya, Nico, mamaya na lang tayo magkwentuhan pagtapos namin manalo. Magu? Ah, ah, ayaw ka kausap. <laughs> Pero yun nga, na minsan, ha, ayaw mong mababasag ng concentration mo, eh, no? As BJ unleashes one, the looper is good! PLDD three-point shot. The PLDD tell Pat three-point shot there. See, speaking of adjustments, you make adjustments, Coach Tim makes his adjustment. Sige, Petron, ha? You want to stay in your zone? I'm going to put my two best shooters on the floor at the same time. That's PJ Simon as well as James Yap. PJ able to find some space for himself. Look at Kabagnod cradle that leather. He earns for himself a trip to the line for two shots. Blakely whistled for his first personal foul. So si Blakely kahit na apat na puntos pa lang ang kanyang na-score dito, saan na makapag-alibang ka? More importantly, na-conserve niya yung fouls niya. Eight rebounds so far for Blakely. Kabagnot still looking for his first point. Completes that one as we take a look at our Fresco Fresh Face. Our Fresco Fresh Face is brought to you by Raider Shine Fresco, the first and only odorless, antibacterial, and 100% elastomeric paint. Two for two for Alex. Good enough for a two-point lead for Spatron. Adjustments once again with that lineup. You can see Patron. What do they do? Balik tayo sa tao tao because they they can match up pretty well with this lineup already because it's not that big lineup that we saw earlier. Bingley Binali pa for that bigger roll. Seventh deadlock of this first half. Three minutes to go. Millsap off the spin, jumps it out. Arwin from the baseline couldn't get the bounce. Junardo loses it underneath. Baraka with that steal. Blakely on a three-on-one goes up and drops the deuce on Petron. Paalala muna natin na magsasani puwersa ang Pilipinas, China at Taiwan para sa World Wi-Fi Championships. Mapapanood na po sa October 26, alas 9 ng gabi sa Action TV. 2.39 remaining sa ating first half. Namang ng dalawa ang San Coffee kontra dito sa Petron. In this now or never ball game para sa Governor's Cup. Fajardo with the leather. They swing it over to Santos. Millsap deep. Kicks it back out. They swing it to the open man. Junmar delivers the two points. Now that's just good ball movement on the part of uh, Petron. It was very good defense on the part of San Mick, but how many times can, can you continue to react when the ball goes from one end to the other? Very crisp pa, no? passing from the left to the right, back to the left. As we come up on the two-minute warning in this first half. Devance with the leather, bounces it over to Simon. Peter June, hand off to Baroka. Overshoots the mark, James underneath, gets the finger roll. James, uh, James yeah, you know, one of the things, you know, his scoring may not be as big as previous years, but the improvement in rebound, ramdam na ramdam, ramdam na kanyang team. 
Fernando Saposte. Devon's in front of him, looking for Lassiter. Fajardo in trouble. And Joe Devance has no reason to complain. That is an automatic foul. They, they, it's been talked about when you try to tap from behind, it's an automatic foul. Take another look at that last piece of action. You can see right here, Junmar tried to get to the post. And then once you go around, he did get a lot of ball there, but I believe that a moment that Pagdunsundut sa likod. Sa tangaan mo si Ikunyan. Automatic na yan. As uh, we send it back over to Nico Ramos. Maguire was a very impassioned coach Gia Vanilla in that last huddle. Sabi niya, looking over at the San Mig Coffee huddle. Sabi niya, guys, if they want to play physical, let's go to Junmar in the post. At ang bilin niya sa kanyang young big, big man. Sabi niya, Junmar, found it inside. Make them feel you. Ikaw nga naman. Ang may 6 foot 10. Namama dyan. Eh kung nga, iskisan at banggaan na labanan, talagang doon mo bigay sa pinakamalaking mama sa championship na to. I just want to go back and actually clear that up. Actually, if you're at the post, and they're a pag-face mo doon sa likod, the only time that they are going to fall apart, it's no longer an automatic foul. The only time they're going to fall apart is there is any amount of contact. Speaking of contact, EJ Simon taking the contact, going glass. Ilsat picks up his third personal. And how big was those, were those three free throws earlier para kay Peter Junsibon? Yes, he only made one of three. But after that, he made a three-pointer. And then now, he gets even more confidence because he made that outside shot. People have to extend out. He's able to go back in. And his struggle from that free throw line continues. Apatang abante rito na Sandy Coffey. Bill Sapp against Blakely. Goes between his legs. Trying to sell the act of shooting. Pero penalty na rin naman ang magkabilang kapunan. Second personal foul whistled on Marcus Blakely. I actually didn't have a chance to talk about if Elijah is actually 100%. As we remind everybody that you can witness hard-hitting MMA action sa PXE 41. Aharapin ni Ale the Young Gun Kali si Luis the Last Samurai Smoka. Sa November 9 po ang bakbaka na yan sa Inares Sports Center. Buy your tickets now. Remember, game number six, he kept going in and out of the ball game, had fun replacing his shoes. Dahil nga, hindi, hindi siya maka, uh, tinatumatama daw yung, yung toes niya, doon sa patos niya. Mark Baroga with another big hit. Now, let's see if Coach Gina will adjust. This is the worst team to zone up, or at least line up to zone up, when you're playing San Miguel because oh. their worst shooter right now is Blakey from the outside. All other guys can make that three-point shot. Your turnover is now a turnover para sa Petronas. Fajardo is whistled for steps. Pasa ni Millsap went to nobody. Speaking of Millsap, Coach G just trying to make sure. May three fouls si Elijah Millsap. Don't take the risk. There's going to be at, at most three possessions here. Baka magkaroon pa ng disgrasya. Sana pong kalahating minuto na titira. Bago tayo pong Alexis Sports 5 Center with Miko Alili, Coach Ronnie Magsanov, and Coach Chot Reyes. At the half. Devon bounces it to Simon. Here's another three. Not that time around. Arvin taps it over to Lassiter. Pwede mag-lash up dito ang Petron. Marcio sizing up Blakely. Drops it off to Junmar. Pumps it up. No. Junmar on the stick back. That's good. And the Hail Mary from Baroga will not work. That'll do it. For the first 24 minutes of action, 31 para sa San Mig, 39 para sa Petron. We got two points separating these two squads. Second half of action, mamaya may alam po. Itong mga kaibigan natin dito sa Sports Time Center, kunwari masaya. Pero tense na tense na yung mga yan. Because so, pinagpapawisan yung mga yan because the uh, game has been so close. And, you know, just just the way a Game 7 should be. As we welcome you back to the Sports 5 Center, Coach Ronnie Magsanok, I'm Miko Alili, and of course, Coach Sean Reyes, who will no doubt be the best dressed coach in Spain uh, next year. Uh, we're going to read some tweets in, in a bit, but uh, maybe initially, Coach Chot, why is, why is this game so close? Why is Game 7 so close? Well, you know, as in Game is as in every Game 7, it's really going to be a matter of the players coming out and making it's close because there are no more surprises. Magkakilala na pareho, alam na niyang San Miguel anong gagawin ng Petron and vice versa. So they're able to make very quick adjustments and counter adjustments. Kaya sa ganito, it's really going to be a matter of which team can get on a nice run in the second half. But for the first half, it's really been a tip for that. 
the biggest lead para sa kabalan ng San Miguel, 6 points early in the first at 19-13. And then bumalik itong uh, kupunan agad ng Petrona, pumusta ng apat na puntos sa kalamangan. And I think that will hold true up to the second half. Sabi nga ni Coach Shot, yung unang bulusok ng isang kupunan sa second half could be um, a great uh, barometer kung sino ang posibleng makalusot pagdating sa dulo. Okay, let's read uh, some of your tweets. Uh, your social media right now, it is blazing because of uh, Game 7. So, let's start with this tweet from uh, at Heckler Forever, who's, you know, is a Twitter superstar. I love that tweet. Heckler Forever. <laughs> Sabi ni Heckler Forever right now, the dads and the kuyas have the remote. Yes! <laughs> Mga airpads! Mga kuya, the junior! Yes! Good job. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is our night. It's our night. Uh, uh, from Atolo Bustamante, time for Arwin to validate the MVP award. And also time for James Shep to prove his nickname. Big uh, uh, game. Big game uh, James, yeah. uh, coaches, uh, how are those two gentlemen go, uh, doing so far? Arwin first. Yeah, Arwin has uh, made a couple of jumpers. He got a couple of rebounds. Obviously, he'd like to still be a little bit more uh, uh, involved in the offense. But he, he hasn't been bad at all. He's uh, playing within the system. And I think uh, he's due for a, a good run in the second. Uh, what about James? Two points for James in the first quarter. Another set, another set of four points in the second quarter. Pushes his scoring total to six. But in the second half, tignan natin kung si James ang magiging zone buster. Para yes. dito sa San Miguel Coffee. Yes, hindi bumibitaw si Coach G sa 2-3 zone. And it's sort of stymied yung uh, rhythm ng uh, San Miguel Coffee. Kaya tignan natin kung si James magi step up from the three-point area in the second half. All right, next tweet coming from at Hoopnut, uh, and uh, he says, damn, Blakely just wants this title so bad, which is, you know, very, uh, an indication of the style of Blakely, Coach Chot. Yeah, he's not scoring too much, but he's doing all the little things, the dirty work, you know, diving on the floor, defending, setting screens, being a decoy and offense, so, you know, that goes to show you how, how much is desired. Uh, we were talking, uh, as we were watching the first half, uh, Coach Ronnie, na, na, napakaswerte ng fans because they're watching not just Blakely but Millsap. I mean, who are two, uh, un undeniably, the two top imports that we have in this tournament. And the nice thing about these two reinforcements, they just don't dominate the game with their scoring. They do a lot of little things na kinakailangan. Defending, rebounding, and making their teammates look really good. And, uh, well, since we uh, mentioned uh, Elijah Millsap, uh, ah, we yeah, have yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a tweet, a tweet from Paul from Millsap, Paul, yep. yung uh, uh, kuya. Ni Elijah, uh, who plays in the NBA, of course, uh, he says, shout out to my brother, Elijah Millsap, and the Petron Blaze. Good luck in the PBA Championship uh, Game uh, 7. So, uh, we've gone global. Global, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that, you to our uh, mga kapatid natin sa international. You know, sa interaction, interaction international. And once again, uh, to the mga airpads and the mga kuya and the mga junior, this is our night. Wag kang bibitahin yung remote na yan, ha? Uh, and so, Coach Ronnie, Coach Sean and I will be back at the end of this game. Meantime, uh, we'll take a break. Second half of Game 7 continues. Welcome back to the Sports Life Center. In my excitement, eh? I was so excited to continue this game, eh. Nag-extra na ako dito. Iba pala tayo tapos. Sabay tayo. Sorry, ah. <laughs> Pasensya na. Uh, you know, it, uh, we're just so into this close game, 41-39, in favor of San Mig uh, Coffee. Before the game, uh, we really focused on Jun Mar Fajardo yep. and, and, and his development. But at the start of this game, you know, another Gilas player and another Dota boy. <laughs> I really believe video games can help you become better players. Yep. <laughs> Mark Pinkris was exceptional at the start of this game. Uh, tell us more about that. Coach Chot, hear it in Coach Talks. Yeah, check in ko lang yung aking kodigo dito sa aking telpad. But you'll see at the start of the ball game here, uh, right off the bat, three straight inside points uh, from uh, uh, San Miguel, in courtesy of Mark Pinkris. Here's the first one. Nice spin move. And then the next one, you're going to see them if we can pause right here, okay? They're in a single post offense. They've gone a little bit away from their triangle sets at the start of the ball game. As we go on, we'll see single coverage. Pingris against uh, Junmar Fajardo. Pingris uh, is very patient, gets his jump hook going. That's uh, the fourth point of the ball game for San Miguel. And then here he goes again. Going one-on-one, -on -one, kick out, gets it right back again against his Dota partner, Nico. The six side point, but look at this here. If we can if we can freeze the, the, the shot right here, look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. That's, those are the eyes of an assassin. 
Mark Pingris is in this ball game. He just scored his first six baskets, his first six points, but now he's playing defense and he's telling uh, uh, Elijah Millsap, bring it to me, baby. <laughs> Sumagot naman ito si Elijah Millsap. It's a battle of inside versus outside. Uh, Sunmi Coffee going for the out inside points, and now Petron Blaze Boosters. You see that the three point shot by Elijah Millsap. And then here's one more. They're gonna miss a shot right here, but uh, Junma, Junma Fardo keeps the ball alive, uh, kicks, us, kicks the ball out, and we're gonna see uh, Marshall Lasseter hit one from distance. Alam nyo, in, in the six games of this series, the team that shot better has always won. In fact, in the three games that Petron lost, they shot below 20% at three points in, those, in two of those losses and low 20s in the third loss. So Petron has to shoot well from the outside to get a double here. Okay, babalik ko lang kay Mark Pingris because si Coach Rane, you worked so many years with, with Mark and you're probably not surprised to see yung, the eyes of Sakuragi. Yep. Uh, I, I don't think you're surprised at all. Especially in this type of a setup. Mark, uh, Mark Pingris loves the spotlight and he has proven time and again that he's a big time player. Not just in defending, not just in bringing the energy, but now he's proven to be a big time scorer as well. Eight of the first 17 points ng San Mig Mixers, Coffee Mixers, binuhos ni Mark Pingris. He's the best scorer in the first half, has defended the best player of Petron, and he will continue to be one of the anchors of San Mig Coffee in the second half. And in reaction to what Coach pointed out about Petron, their outside shooting, which has been a big reason why you know, they, they were the best team in the elimination run. When you play against Petron, how do you stop that? They're outside shooting. We just have to close out and identify yep. the shooters. Nakazone ngayon ng kapanan ng Petron. Dahil nga sa pinunta ni Coach Chuck kanina, eh, kinayot sa loob ng kapanan ng San Miguel because they shot 25 times from the three in game number uh, five. five. Something that they have not yeah. done in the first five games. That's yeah. the most number of three-point attempts that they have triggered in the first five games. Ayaw ni Coach Tim yan. Yes. High percentage coach si Coach Tim and they are making a conscious effort to attack the inside. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit sumuso na ngayon ang Petron. Paano mo pipigilin na shooters? Wala kang choice. Hanapin mo lang, kasal mo ng kamay and pray that they continue to miss. When we look at this score, 41-39, uh, as, as coaches who've been here at the PBA for, for many years, not surprised Pang game seven, bato. Uh, yeah, it's a pang, pang game seven score. It's going to be very close uh, to Coach Ronnie's point in the second half. We're going to watch if if uh, Petron will stay in that zone and how will Petro uh, San Miguel Coffee attack it. And then on the other end of the floor, when uh, San Miguel Coffee closes up their defense, will Petron go back to the small lineup that they used to end the last game? Because the last time they took out Junmar yes. and they surrounded Millsap with shooters, which worked for them. We can it work. So yan ang tik babantayan natin uh, 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 adjustments and counter adjustments and the game within the game in the second half. Actually, a, a lot of people actually ask me, you know, why why would Coach G do that? Junmar will dominate and then end of you know last two minutes pulls him out, goes small. Yes. Very quickly, Coach shot. Why would why would he do that? It's a situational decision because of the all of the. Uh, uh, clogging that uh, yes. San Miguel Coffee does and then they also have all shooters Mali nagmamaliit din yung San Miguel Coffee no Yancey no Rafi Rivas inside uh, and uh, when uh, Joe Devance gets hot napipilitan lumabas si June Mars uh, ayaw nila yun so nilagyan na lang nila ng maliit so ang hahabol kay Joe Devance is an Arwin Santos or even a Chris Lutz so now with the, the fantastic size of both teams it becomes small ball it becomes Gilas basketball kaya ang sarap panorin <laughs> okay speaking of San uh, we're going to uh, uh, promote, uh, you know, you're familiar with the Transformers. They're all about, they're all about size, you know, huge. You're huge and uh, we'll be airing that uh, here and we're, we're airing it in Filipino. Uh, yes. That airs Monday, uh, Monday here on TV5. Also, witness hardening MMA action in PXC 41. Uh, Harapin ni uh, Ali, the young gun, Kelly. Si Luis, the last samurai small gun. November 9, uh, sa Inara Sports Center. Buy your tickets uh, now. Okay, uh, after natusa lang ako, so you guys have to ask, you guys have to answer. <laughs> Who's going to win Game 7? Petron or San Mi Coffee? Coach Ronnie? Too close to call. <laughs> Safe. Coach Shot? Or <laughs> the team that makes their PLDT Telpad 3.5 <laughs> is going to win. Okay, okay. I agree, so I can bring this home. Okay, uh, so ito na talaga. We'll be right back uh, at the end of this game and the meantime second half starts when we return.
pagpatuloy ng 2013 PBA PLDT Telpat Governor's Cup Finals. This is game number 7. 24 minutes ang natitira. Magumar John, Jason Webb. Jay, let's break down the numbers starting with the first quarter back. I'm cruising by what happened in the summary. Mark Pringles started out very well. Scored the first six points. Finished with eight. Six players actually contributed to the nine team of uh, Petron. They did shoot very well, but look at the three-point three, three point shooting of Sandvik. Only one out of six. And actually, a surprise that they were able to get more rebounds in that quarter. And given the fact that they actually rebounded so well to start. Second half, second quarter rather, Simon and Fajardo, locals doing their share. Pero taas to field goal shooting ng Sandvik Coffee. Fast break turnover points actually uh, got a little bit bloated in that quarter. A little bit faster. Pero tingnan mo yung free throws. Uh, one out of four compared to six out of nine. It is... You would think San San Coffee would have more free throws, but in that quarter, because Sumona and Don Petron Blaze Brewster, Boosters, they got there, they didn't get a lot of free throws. Actually, three out of those four free throws came from that three points out of PJ Simon. San Coffee will start off with James Yap, Mark Baroga, Mark Bingley, Marcus Blakely, and Joe Devance as their five. Nigel Milsap takes it away by the Petron, Gasam Menes, and Marvin Santos, Marshall Lasseter, Alex Gabagnot, and Jimmy Tangan and Bola. That's si June Mar Fajardo. So Petron trying to pick up where they left off in the second quarter, pounding that ball inside, but Sandy gets the stop. Completing our quartet for the final game of the 2013 season is Erika Padilla and Nico Ramos. Mamaya mamaya makikibalita tayo kung ano nga bang na mga napag-usapan. And the half. Yeah, fouled by Lasseter on the reach-in. Brain thrust of Petron. Waiting for the execution of the battle plan. Dito. Lester, he ayo patanggapin. Ito si James Yap. Bigless almost lost it. Bigless loses it completely. Kapag not to Millsap. Oh! Millsap throws it down right in the face of the bounce. Turnovers have led to baskets. There's not a lot of turnovers. Both teams have taken care of the basketball. Pero pag nagkaroon, nakikita natin, takbo ka agad yung dalawang teams. Baroga trying to settle things down for the blue shirts of the mixers. Bing offers the pick. Baroga backpedals. Sabagno trying to keep in front of him. Bing miss on the catch. The statue of Liberty shot. No. June Bar against Blakely. Marcus wow. puts it up. No. Santos loses it to the baseline. What action. It's a rebound battle now as we take a look at this Photon Thunder Drive brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. Baroga tatanggap. Kabagnot going over the Pingris pick. Now he gets swept behind. Baroga couldn't hit. Lassiter gets it over to Millsap. Pajardo nakikipagbagbangan kay Devance. They go to Arwin. Pass too high mula kay Millsap. Hinayang nahinang doon si Spider-Man. Both of them because it was actually the right pass. Na wala lang sa timing yung dalawa doon sa pasa na yun. Yung depensa talaga nag-collapse lahat kay Jun Marino. Eh, Malilibre nga sana. Ito si Arwin. Devance, hindi maipagpag si Millsap. Elijah has three personal fouls. Yap for a long one. Couldn't connect. The cause for concern for San Miguel Coffee is they're not really a volume three-point shooting team, but in today's game they've put up already 12 three-point shots. They've only made two. You know, the, the guys, the guys from Sports Five Center was actually saying that they have to shoot at a high percentage. Then in the last game, San Miguel Coffee rather shot so many three-pointers, Coffee and Pumasok, and that's not their style. Arwin 17-footer gives Petron a two-point lead as we send it over to Erica. Kausap ko si Coach Ozzy, sinabi lang niya kanina that Petron has been doing a lot of zones and they should be ready for that na yung second half. They also need to sprint back faster as the boosters have been pushing the tempo. Sinubukan kong alamin kung may nararamdaman pa ba siya going against his former team and quickly he just said, wala naman, we just need to win. Balik sa inyo. Parang plastic, ano? <laughs> wala naman. Pero binabanggit ang tawag mong ano, ha? Huwag mo siya. Coach Olsen, ha? Hindi. Magkasiyari ka lang ang kausap. Magsiyari ka lang. Pero, Jay, binabanggit mo, no? Yung 2 of 12 3-point shooting ng Sammy, baka mag-sit sa zone lang talaga. 
Eto Petron Paganyan as we take a look at this Rain or Shine Dirt Shield defensive block brought to you by Rain or Shine Dirt Shield. Semi-gloss finish, third resisting paint, your best defense against third on walls. You know, two out of 12 on one and two out of six on the other. You know, Petron is a team that actually throws up a lot of three-point shots, but in today's game, they have they've been very picky to sa tinitira nila mga tres. 43-42, it is Petron by one. Fajardo at the post. Fajardo trying to go glass. Alam, Blakely for the board. Marcus, his pass, Malakas. Baroga all the way in the backcourt. 14 seconds for the match. I'm going to shot down. They go to Devance. Junmar closes out. Devance loses his foot speed. That's for those two points. You know, that's just a good job on the part of Joe Devance. Because Arwin Santos went for the steal. Thought they were going to get the basketball. He went to the strong side right away and made Junmar choose. Sino ba babantayan ko to sa dalawang na iyon sa ilalim? Arwin looking for Junmar. Pushed from behind by Devance. See, Joe uh, Devance, he goes to the other side. The other side is actually Marcus Blakely. Arwin Santos was late because he went for the basketball, for the steal. And again, those are the little things. You see how coach Tim doing the little things to win, to win basketball games. And a big layup score there by Elijah Milsap. 15 points in total. Para sa import ng Petron. Si Blakely nasa 9 pa lang. Pingris contra Fajardo. Foul whistled on Junmar. It's not easy. But the thing para kay Junmar, if you want to be able to stop Mark Pingris or at least have a chance, you cannot allow him to get deeper and deeper into the post because pag nandun na siya sa malalim sa post, they ang tigas ng katawan ito si Mark Pinger. Same thing that he has done, same thing that he did rather in the first quarter where he dominated early, got to the post and scored the first first six points for San McCoffey. Pingris now with nine across his number as we take a look at our Fresco Fresh Face. Brought to you by Rain or Shine Fresco, the first and only odorless, antibacterial, and 100% elastomeric paint. I'm just kidding. Uh, may bahay, need a drink. Ingris goes two for two, he's in double digits as we send it over to Nico Ramos. Magwif, there's been one thing consistent in every Petron huddle mula umpisa ng laro hanggang halftime. It's been them saying they want to go inside to Junmar. His biggest cheerleaders, Elijah Millsap and Chris Lutz. Sabi sa kanya ni Elijah Millsap, give, sabi ni Millsap sa teammates, give the ball to Junmar. Sabi naman ni Chris Lutz, if you want it, Junmar, I'm gonna give it to you every time. Jason, pati si Millsap, ano natin kita niya, unstoppable force nito si Junmar Fajardo. You know, when you, when, if you have that option, as we see Eliza with that shot, if you have that option, once it's playoff basketball, ang laking bagay na may poste ka. You look at the teams that have had success, there always is a post guy. Even in the NBA, you can say, bakit yung Miami, walang centro? No. LeBron James is posting up. Bakit yung Chicago Bulls, walang centro? No. Because at that time, Michael Jordan was posting up. It is illegal for your team to have a post up during that period. Ayan naman, excited na excited na lahat as Lassiter misses. Doon sa draft on November 3, dahil baka daw yung top 3 picks, eh na mga napakalaran yung mga mama. Maybe even the 4, top 4? No, no. What I'm saying is, speaking of the number 4, that's the 4th foul on Elijah Belsa. Ang laking bagot na ito para sa Petron Blaze Booster, San Big Planet, applauding that 4th personal foul whistle there on Belsa. Where, if you're Coach Gia Badilla, where do you go? You put him on the bench or you try to hide him at the moment, not allow him to guard anyone of significance in terms of that offensive side. Pero wala ka pwedeng ilagay sa kanya dito because all those guys on the San Big side are guys that are going to attack him. The all-new Dual Core PLDD Top Hat is the world, world's first plant line and tablet in one that lets you do more. All throughout the season, we talked about the free throw shooting of Blakey, but that has put Trump up in uh, quieted down in the finals. Maganda as the playoffs went along, quarter finals, semi finals, and the finals. He's in the 50s now, coming from 40s. As Kabagnot misses, Mingwis with another rebound. Ang Shamnayan para dito kay Sakuragi. This is the chance para Sadly Coffee. Blakey loses it. Now, the. Dito makikita yung voice ng Petron, kung meron na ba. San Mikofi, you have to say, they have the advantage because 
they have their import right there on the floor. Are really dealing with foul trouble? But then the locals of Petron, ano ang magiging reaction nila? That time around, it's a failing grade just on their transition defense. And right now, Mr. Everything will likely do everything but he does not make coffee because he's going to take advantage of no import on the other side. So far, see Blakely already. Really double-double here. Palang, yung kanyang contribution. Let's see kung mga halimaw na siya dito sa third quarter. None of two. At kailan mo binati yung free throw naman, tsaka nagmintis. Pero yung bola, mananatili sa San Mikofi. Well, you can see here, this is the chance for San Mikofi to make a run. Bad defense earlier para sa Petron, and right now, not even being able to get the basketball. Eto, Jason, immediately coming off this inbound they go to Marcus Blakely you expected it na ito na ang panahon para mga labaw nga itong si Blakely and also coach Tim surrounding Marcus Blakely and his team right now that this is his overall you gotta think his best balanced offensive side Simon, Yap and Baroka as the shooters Pingres will be helping out Blakely underneath we take a look at the elder, Mr. Blakely, Kasak Katabin, and Miss Lim, Marvin Blakely, that is Young Airpats. And then Marcus. A technical foul pass on Bilandulo, si Todd Perbs, ng Petron Bay's boosters. Petron continues to give. That make an opportunity or a chance to make a run out of this. And in the first quarter, na warning on si Coach Todd Perbs this time around. Referees have had enough. As DJ Simon makes him pay on that technical free throw. Blakely has missed his last three attempts on that line. He got last four. Okay, right now, if you're Petron, where do you go? Your offense right now, your biggest advantage has to be Junmar Fajardo. Nabagnod goes to Junmar. Patience by Junmar to force the goaltending violation on Ping. And just a good read. Marcus Blakely, you can see that you know he was he, he was playing, you know, playing the pass a little bit too much, over anticipating the situation. Good ball, you see the ball touches glass first. 49-48. It is Petron by one. Wala na pong anim at kalate na dinira sa ikatlong yukto ng huling laro. Netong 2013 PLDD Pelpad PBA Governor's Cup Finals. Top clock winding down. PJ couldn't bail him out. Lasseter with that rebound. As we call people, Jason Jack up those three point shots. Look at Junmar running the floor. Goes class for the two points. Getting to the post early, putting pressure on the defense to react. Those are the things Junmar is doing right now. This is his time. 16 points in the game for the young six foot then center out of Cebu. Blakely's in trouble. Blakely not the Victorioni Arvin Santos, but he turns it over anyway. Lasseter on the move all the way to the hole. Goal uh, ending whistled on Blakely. And what a way to turn things around, Paradito Sepetron. Just when you think they didn't have the guts to be able to get the lead. Right now, they built their biggest lead at five. Time out, Patid Zatin, ng Triple Hops Group, called 45 beer. Tatlong best. Enjoying game seven on this Friday evening inside the Big Dome. Nahanap na natin ang ating mga ulala, mahal na masa, fans of the day. Mula sa masarap, malaman, mura at convenient kasi easy to open. Ulalam, ready to eat ulam. Para sa masa, mahal na masa. Ulalam, 15 pesos lang. 53-48, the Petron Blaze Boosters starting to take this game by the horns, taking this five-point lead. Pingris, though, could not break for dry spell, but Blakely is there for the stick tag. Iba rin yung pagiging agresibo sa bola nito si Marcus Blakely, you know, just, just tapping the ball up. And, you know, sometimes you just get lucky, tapos papasok yan. Tabagnot contra Baroka. They wait for Junmar to get into position. Slapped away though by Ping. They make the adjustment as well is Coach Tim Cole. Earlier we saw Marcus Blakely trying to guard him and Marcus Blakely playing a little bit too soft on Junmar and he took full advantage of it. Now we're going with a guy that actually is a big, better fit in terms of size to guard Junmar. Kabagnot to Lasseter. No go, Arwin trying to keep it alive. Pingris takes it to the face. 
At penalty na, etong Petron, who's made two free throws for Mark Pingris. A lot of times in this game, coaches have not allowed teams to get on long runs. There was a run earlier kung saan lumabang ang etong San Miguel, or rather ang Petron ng five points. And since that run, I'm on to coach Tim Cohn. He's got uh, two points already back. Now free throws to cut it even further. Remember the start of this game. There was actually a lead, 19 to 13, para sa San Miguel Coffee. Coach uh, timeout coach si Coach Gia Banilla got the lead after that. So you know that's what we're gonna see here. Both coaches may, have, may not have that as long a patience as we would see in um, uh, regular season games. Alala mo na natin habang nagfi free throw. Eto si Mark Pingris. That you can follow the PBA and of course the NCA after tonight like never before. Get real-time updates straight from your phone with Pinoy Hoops. Be the ultimate hoops fan and follow your favorite teams and players. Now available for Android and the Google Play Store. At sa App Store naman ng iOS. Less than five minutes remaining in the third frame. Pingris goes two for two. As a timeout is being requested here, atin sa atin to. Nang triple hops brewed, called 45 beer, tatlong beses, pinasarap. Ganyan, pag tatlong beses, pinasarap, called 45. The first premium roasted malt beer brewed with three special hops for aroma, balance, and flavor. Triple hop, triple sarap, called 45. Don't let bad odors ruin precious moments. Get Glade Sensations Car. It effectively eliminates bad odors up to 60 days. For fresh fragrance, no more bad odors to ruin precious moments. Glade Sensations Car. Extra Joss. Taglay ang pinagsamang lakas ng B vitamins, ginseng, at tori. Para sa trabahong tuloy-tuloy, tuloy-tuloy. Extra Joss. Sipang tumatagal. Johnny, di basta kumukupas, ha? 100% yan. Sa Davis Sun and Rain, 100% acrylic elastomeric paint. Di basta kumukupas sa arawan. Marami pang kulay na mapagpipilihan. Davis Sun and Rain. Para sa akin, ang bossing sa elastomeric paint. Basta pintura, hanapin ang tatak, Davis. Heat, sweat, and grease make you more prone to dandruff. But no more. Try New Clear Men, which has cooling mint, ginseng, and tea tree. It gives you 24-hour freshness and protects you from dandruff. Stay fresh for 24 hours. New Clear Men. 24 hour freshness. Zero dandruff. Tron Blaze 100 U4 meets European fuel standards for a powerful, efficient, and fire clean engine. The high performance U4 gasoline. The Tron Blaze 100 U4. Itong 23 anos na number one overall pick ng nakarang draft season has definitely stamped his class here in the finals of the Governors Cup. June Mar Fajardo has been everywhere para sa Petron, especially tonight in this game set. Tonight he's got 16 and 7. In the other games, he's actually even been more dominant. A couple of games or a game in which he had 20 20. And he's averaging close to 20 points a game and close to 15 rebounds in the entire series. Pangalas. First finals appearance lang niya. Itong 2013 PLDP held bad PBA Governor's Cup Finals. They go back to Fajardo. Yancy on him. 6'10 contra 6'9. Di makatulak. Arwin swings it around. Katagi ko. Buta tayo na bot. Wala kay Blakely. Ball will remain with Petron. Pero isang segundo na lang sa kanilang shot clock. It's got to be quick for the white shirts. Sino ang kanilang bubuntahan? Parang corner kick mula kay Kabagnot. Taken away by PJ Simon. Pingris in the front court. Santos right in front of him. They go over to Blakely. George Blake is going to try to back him down. If, but Unless there's an open guy in the corners. But remember, in game number six, it, if it was Arvin Santos, he felt very comfortable attacking him. And just like that, Sam McCoffey is back up by one. P.J. Simon's got nine. And P.J. Simon has come alive. They're looking for that additional local score. Pingris has scored very well. Now P.J. Simon is another guy that's helping out. Lutz, that familiar crossover. No, Fajardo is there. Ayo pa rin. Tapikin ang bola. Napulot ni Barroca. P.J. 
all the way high off the grass to drop the boost. Coach Gia Baniglia has seen enough 30 second timeout requested here at Itza Adin. Nan triple hops, Brood called 45 beer, Tatlum Beses, Pinasara. Game of fronts, it was 53 48 earlier, and then an 8 0 run na sagot. It was Sandman Coffee, courtesy in a big way, Mulake PJ Simon. From top, he's got it. From the sides, he was able to get it as well, but also in the fast break. So, ito nga yung sabi natin. Sabi ni Coach Tim, he has the superstars to do it. And you can see PJ Simon, one of his superstars, able to come up and uh, answer the call. What a sequence there para kay Simon, the jumper, that tap away when the shot clock was winding down for Petron, and the layup, or the two points off the glass. Peter June now with 11 across his number. Let's see how Petron reacts. Uh, so what they're going to do is going to bring back their input, Elijah Millsap. So susugal na dito si na Coach G. Sabi ni Coach Bipo, hindi ikaw pinapapasok namin si Ronald Tubid dapat. Nagkagulo-gulo ito sa substitution sa scorer's table. At nawarningan sila dahil doon for delaying the game. Next dead ball situation pa pala, papasok ito si Milsa. Yeah, because you can only change one person and they have already changed Chris Lutz via Ronald Tubin. Uh, 30 second timeout lang kasi yun, ano? A full timeout, gusto mo kahit iba, palitan mo. Lassiter against Simon. Junmar trying to battle for position with the Ocampo. Junmar contra Yancy. No double team ng Bilao, etong si Baroga. Jun Pajardo loses it. Blakely gets it across. Blakely down the gut of the defense. Hule, pasa pala. Bingris, very patient. Bingris pa rin. Yancy now in traffic. Ayaw talaga. Pero ang bola, nasa Sandvik pa. Gotta set it up again. If you're Sandvik Coffee, you already have multiple possessions. Everybody up on their feet on that Sandvik bench. Baroka with a one-hander. No. It's a tough shot. Bajardo clears it. Lasseter surveys the floor. The Cubs got to try to get back or get it to their offense early once again. Once they are slowing it down. Oh, look at that bullet pass. Blakely against Tubid. Penalty na etong Petron. Two shots para tayong para kay Marcus. Ganda na nung pasa sana. Neto ni Lassiter. Inabangan nga lang ni Ping dito sa kabilang dulo. Blakely continues to struggle from that 15-foot line as Elijah Millsap is now going to be part of the five. Papalitan si Arwin Santos. He's missed about five of his last six free throws. Somewhere there. Papalitan sa ating pinansin na po ang pasa ko ngayon mga free throw niya. Finally, he gets that one to sink as we send it over to Erika Padilla. Nakita natin kung paano naipit si Marcos kanina that caused a turnover for San May. Kaya naman sabi ni Coach Tim again, huwag sila magkumpulan sa isang lugar dahil alam naman daw nila na laging dinudoblihan si Marcos. Spread out para makita agad ni Marcos ang dapat pasahan. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Erika. Tubid looking for that crack in the defense. They go to Millsap. Held back by Blakely. Basket no good. Personal no, while, while, it, while you know that your advantage is Junmar Fajardo, you, you still have to continually move with your Petron. You can't get caught from ball watching on your offense. Asseter obliges, punches it through. It's having a PLDD tough hat. Big shot para dito sa Petron because that lead is starting to balloon. The balloon na dito four points eh. Okay. Pero yung binabanggit mo nga, naging predictable sila for a while there. As Simon Pinawi again with his own version of a PLDD top back three point shot. Yeah, we said it earlier. This is the same lineup na Simona ng Petron. When you look at this lineup, the, own, the one guy that you have to make sure na mababatay mo is PJ Simon. But PJ able to find a hole. Oh, Junmar wanted to throw it down. Foul whistled on Blakely. That'll be his fourth. Nice drive and draw coming from Dubin. Let's see if uh, Marcus Blakely actually catches him here. Well, he got it all hand. You can see that he actually got his wrist. It's just a good job on the part of their camera work to see that he actually caught the right wrist of Junmar Fajardo. But credit the young man. 
Kadalasan, iilag ka pag nakita mo na may mataas rin tumalon. But he went straight and he went strong. Mahardo takes care of that first free throw as Devans comes back in papalitan. Ito si Barroca. And Malyari is also there, si Blake Lee. Uupo na rin muna. So Millsap with four fouls on the floor. Blake Lee sa kabila, apat ang foul. Pagpapahingin mo. Marcus Blake Lee has not gotten much rest. But on the other side, Elijah's already got enough rest. So maybe to uh, bring him all the way till the end of the game. 60-58 is the score. Malyari gets it over to Simon. Sanmig wants to add to this two-point lead. PJ to Malyari, back to PJ. Sampung segundo sa shot clock na itong Sammy Coffey. Big Riz anchoring that triangle. They go to Malyari. Three to shoot. Malyari with a long two. Couldn't bail him out. Fajardo tracks down that rebound. And Masseter will push the action. They go to Kabagdog for a three. Bam! I mean, it's on the PLDD Telpan. Well, the three point shot has really changed the game of basketball. The three, two three pointers in the, in the last of couple of field goals, Palace of Bacon has just gotten the lead right back. Lana po isang minuto natin dito na sa ating ikatulong yung top. Simon, contra Tubin, Pitel, rebound de Ocampo. He attacks Simon, dinagsak pa kay Ping. Nice stretch coming from the Sakuragi. And an even better pass on the part of Yancy de Ocampo. Such an underrated passer. You know, you always think that he'll, he's just a big guy, but it's the passing that makes him different from the other big men of San Coffee. Less than half a minute to go in this third quarter. Tubid gets it to Millsap. Big wrist right in front of him. Shot clock is at five. Millsap for three. No go. Magliari for the rebound, and San can hold for the last possible attempt here in this third frame. P.J. Simon time to para sa San Coffee. He's got five to work with. P.J. to Devons. He launches one. Bang! Amin pa rin sa akin ang PLDD top hat. Hail Mary ni Lassiter. Hindi uubra. And that'll do it for the first 36 minutes of this Game 7. 65-61 is your score. San Coffee makakapagbaon ng apat na puntos sa kalamangan after this booming triple from Joe Devons. Dito sa TV5 as we take a look at the Freddy Webb, of course. Er, Freddy yeah. Ubalde, sorry. Uh, legend, yeah. Legend. Uy, and the Tang brothers also in attendance, including Alvin Tang. Bilang buting ama, Mr. Bobby Barrero. Everybody enjoying the action. Siyempre, nandiyan dyan din si Commissioner Chito Salute, Boss Willie Marshall, and Ricky Santos. Brain uh, thrust naman now PBA 65-61 is the score mag margin po kasama natin si Jason Webb kaya nalito ito kasi ang aking katabi nandiyan dyan din po si Erika Padilla at Nico Ramos controlling the sidelines for this last ball game alala rin natin ha Jason na napapanood tayo ngayon sa TV5 starting November 17 next season lahat na po ng PBA games eh dito na mapapanood sa TV5 Patihin na rin natin lahat ng uh, nanonood sa atin ngayon over Action TV International, lalo-lalo na yung mga nakatutok mula sa Middle East. Nico, you have a report? Magul, not a drop of doubt in that last Patron huddle entering this fourth quarter. Applauses all around and a lot of uh, boosts of confidence from the entire team, including the usually very calm Elijah Millsap na sinabi sa kanya mga kampi, guys, they're up four now but we'll be up at the end of the game. Have faith, stay together. Magul? Millsap on the move, wanting to prove what he said was true. They couldn't connect though on that run. Kasama niya si Lassiter, Lutz, Kabagdot, and Fajardo. You know, he looks like he wants to take the game uh, over here at this early stage of the fourth quarter right there. Seemingly just expecting the contact. Good job on the part of Joe Devan sa umilag dun sa bangga. Ang lima naman ang Sanmig will have etong sina Devans, Simon, Blakely, Leo Campo, and Pinguiz. I've heard much from James Yap in this contest. That's a I mentioned in a Blakely against Lutz. Look at Lutz trying to get as low as he can. Leo Campo from 16. Gets the bounce. Yancy Leo Campo from the foul line extended. Chains of game five. Remember, he was such a difference making that uh, mid-range shot. Lutz 
Gets it over to Alex. Makita si Lassiter. Petron on the move. No, June Maris there for the stick back. Lots of shooters all around para dito sa Petron. Three guys, actually four guys that can make that outside shot. And that's just Junmar in the middle. That's really why ang hirap magiging mas mahirap yan ang defensa para dito sa Sunday Coffee. Devons to Blakely. Dalawa kagad ang sumalugong sa kanya. EJ puts it on the floor. Di may pagpagsigal sa. Five to shoot for Sandvik. EJ for three. Couldn't send it home but Devons keeps it on that side of the floor. Devons to Blakely. Sandvik trying to be patient but the double team takes that leather away. Last and third. Bill Sapp against Leo Campo. Iniwana na si Iko ni Yancy. Nasa yung Stepan eh. Buti nga, naabutan pa yun. But you know, it's a good foul. It's a very good foul because you make him, make him earn it. Of course, he really couldn't turn around. He's, he's a good 6, 8, 6, 9 and just couldn't make that move to pirouette kasi inikutan siya doon sa weak side niya eh. And it's a good foul because now he's... Oh, he only make one point. As we take a look at this Prestone defensive stop of the game, brought to you by Prestone Brake Fluid for superior braking action and safety. Sigurato! So instead of giving uh, the easy layup, like uh, you mentioned, dahil to sa sidestep, one point lang ang napamigay nila doon. As we remind everybody that the all-new Dual Core PLDT Top Pad is the world's first landline and tablet in one that lets you do more. Yeah, Fingers has, a, has an advantage at the post right now. Lasseter on him, but he kicks it over. Cross court. Devon's finding Blakely. They go back to the left. PJ flyby move. PJ though couldn't hit. Fingers on the floor with a rebound. Foul whistled. Against who? It's going to be against Marshall Lasseter because Pingris, he goes to that side, you know, the 2 3 atong Petron, and he goes to the side, kusan yung merong malihit, and then he just takes and uses his body, his strength against it to si Marshall Lasseter. Kita mo naman yung bakbakan dito, Jay, yan talaga. Ang PBA basketball. Oh, and actually, if you look at that, it's like Marshall is trying to just outwit itong si Mar Mark Pingris. Sabi mo, kailangan big boy punch pagka dito ka lang ipagbagbagan. You mentioned Yancey's passing. He flip gains P.J. Simon. That's two assists already para kay Yancey here in the fourth quarter. Remember, also, he also had those two points from the top. Elsap, spinning baseline. Goes up, put the ball! Pingris with the stop. Pang-apat na shot lock na yan para dito kay Sakuragi. Yancey again They go to Blakely Kicks it out JTV punches it through Happy Jay in a PLDB telepad And this now is the largest lead of the contest Siete puntos para sa San Mikovi Timeout muna tayo Hatid ng Triple Ops Brew Called 45 Beer Tatlong beses Pinasarap Ito, silipin muna natin ang ating Photon Tornado Drive featuring Peter June Simon brought to you by Photon Empower Your Business The Petron Blaze Boosters all of a sudden down by 7 points Ito na ang pinakamalaking lamang na naitatag sa gabing ito Magu Marjon, Jason Webb, Eric Catadilla, Nico Ramos Ang inyong quartet dito sa Sports 5 Lutz gets it down low Junmar against 2 Where will he go? Junmar nakita si Lutz Naipit pa rin, and they turn it over once again. Very quiet game para dito kay Chris Lutz eh, with that turnover. Good defense once again para dito sa Petron. Both teams trying to get away with playing by playing with playing without a point guard. DJ Simon dito sa kabilang dulo for the San Coffee Mixers. Boys right now, we talked about that ever since game five. Which team will have the boys so far? San Coffee doing a lot of boys here in the fourth. Blakely, big spin. The big is there to clean it up. Huge disparity in rebounds here in the fourth quarter. Six rebounds already para dito sa San Coffee. Only one para dito sa Petron. Might just be a must score para sa Petron. Down by nine. Arwin to Millsap, free for the three. No go. It's a good look. It was actually misplayed defensively by San Coffee. Just couldn't make the basket. But Petron actually going with a shortened rotation. Simon looking to take the fight out of Petron with still seven and a half remaining in this game. 
Gets it over to Ping. Millsap all over him. Kick out. Yancey. His pass thwarted by Arwin. Lutz on the move. Simon right in front of him. They go deep to Fajardo. Fouled by Deo Campo. Not a good foul on the part of Yancey Deo Campo. Remember that foul earlier? Instead of a layup, he made them work one free throw. Ngayon, maganda na position ni Fajardo. Gives up that foul. Makes Petron or rather makes their defense again settle down because it what what we've seen here in the fourth. But the settle down in defense and said Nick, they've been able to stop the top the court. El Sapper's Ray punches it through! And it's out in a PLD detail pack. Not really the loudest of games for Dito by Elijah Millsap. That was a big, and that was a big, uh, that was a big uh, three-pointer though. Got a total of 22. As Millsap will be whistled here. What do you say? Points, composure. Can't give up that foul. He's got to watch it now. He's got five personals across his number. The guy in Siladito, ni Ping. Outside jumper doesn't work para Rideo Rambo. Less than seven minutes remaining in game number seven. Santos to Kabagnot. They go to Millsap. Millsap against Simon. Papalit si Blakely. They swing it around. Lasseter fouled by PJ. It's an interesting when you watch this game. You look at Milton, there's so many superstars on that floor, but it seems at certain points they are just solely looking at Elijah Millsap and Junmar Fajardo. Millsap once again kicks it out. Alex couldn't pull the trigger. They go to Arwin for the baseline jumper. No, Junmar underneath is fouled. And para sa San Miguel, this will be their fifth team foul. Be concerned if your coach GS. We look at the system. Tooth and gum care rookie of the half. Junmar Fajardo po yan, hatid sa atin ng Sistema Tooth and Gum Care Rookie, uh, ready ready for the big league with Sistema Tooth and Gum Care, get ready for life. That be, might, might be concerned here, uh, Coach Gio Padilla. We mentioned earlier, he shortened up his lineup for the people that he's using on the floor. So Junmar is close to 38 minutes already, from 6 minutes to go. Same thing with Lasseter, same thing with Cabagnot. Arwin Santos close to 35, and Elijah Millsap close to 34 so some guys might not uh, question is how much these guys would have in the tank in the closing minutes in Tisyon rebound battle napunta kay Devans para naman sa panig ni coach Tim Cohn ibinalik na niya ngayon si James Yap and Mark Baroka who's very fresh both guys got a lot of rest nung nakuha nila yung kalamangan nila Ping contra Fardo dragging out the defense of the Pitton Center James Losing it to the sideline. Sandvik asking for the foul. Petron will have possession. Babagnot setting the table. Millsap looking for his big man. Now he goes to Alex. No go. Chunma rebound. Fajardo two takes. Puta taparen. Pero meron foul. Foul is on the Last time around, June Marfardo missed both free throws. We're talking about Fatih Jason. Let's see how he does this time around. Both teams have had a lot of free throws. Both teams have missed a lot of free throws as well. We the time to be missing free throws. Game 7 of the championship. As we remind everybody that the all-new Dual Core PLDD Top Pad Selfie is the world's first landline and tablet in one that lets you do more. Three straight by the Deepak Junmar, four out of 11 so far in the game. Junmar to make that four out of 12. Wow. The struggle continues for the rookie. Apat na segundo lang para maitawid na Sandvik. Maroka gets it over to Devans. Blakely loses it to that baseline. Back to back turnovers para Sandvik Coffee. Leaves the door ajar para dito sa Petron, but Petron is not take, has not taken advantage of those turnovers yet. Interesting scenario here, 5.37 to go. Upo muna si Junmar J. Petron has gone small. Yeah, but this is the same unit that gave them the lead and the victory in game number six. Millsap overcooks that layup. 
Brian McCoffey still sitting on this six point lead. Five fouls. English wanting to foul Millsap out of this game. Bing kicks it out. James on the move, fouled by Santos. Only be the third team foul para dito sa Petron. Pero it was deemed in the act of shooting. Only six points across his number so far para dito ko James Jeff as we send it over to Erica. Maliban sa mga players, the coaching staff of San Miguel is as anxious. Sabi sa akin ni Coach Richard kanina, kung pwede lang daw na maglaro din sila, gagawin nila para makatulong. Kompleto naman daw sila kung ituturing na third set ng Mixers. Siguro pag si Coach Johnny, si Coach Olsen, si, si, si the Captain Alvin Patrimonio, yun makakatulong. Ewan ko makakatulong si Chad. <laughs> Malang, makakatulong sa kalaban. <laughs> Jack goes two for two. Good enough to stretch Shad McSleep back up to eight points as we head into this timeout. Happy Tati and Triple Hops Group Club 45 here. Tatlong beses pinasara. Got a feel for Petron right now. Coach Gia Benilla. He feels that he's, he has to make a run right now. And he, right now, as well, this is a unit we talked about that gave him the lead. And he has to reinstill in these guys. And the thing is, I want to take time now game number six. That's exactly what we have to do here. And um, remember, when this unit came in, they were actually down by a big margin as well. And they were able to get that lead. That'll be the last 30-second timeout para sa Petron. They are left with three full timeouts. Ito namang San Mikofi still has all four of their fulls and both of their 30-seconders. As we remind everybody, na starting November 17, all PBA, PBA games will be aired on TV5. Let's see, the one thing that they're lacking seemingly in this game compared to the other game is the aggressiveness of the entire unit. Tabag not for three. Gets that one to drop. Brought to us by PLDD Kalpan. Not a lot of threes so far para dito sa Petron compared to the other games that they get, but these threes have come in very good spots for them. Baba nga sa limang, nakabante rito ng San Mikofi. Ping wanting to attack Millsap once again. John Mark Bigley's nakikipagkatawanan. Bounces it over to Blakely. Have mercy, Mr. Blakely! Losing his man was Arwin Santos. You've got to play ball and man. Last guy you want to leave is Marcus Blakely. That near the basket. Malik sa pito ang kailangan bunuin ng Petron. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Kabagnot over to Santos. Arwin kicks it out. Millsap finding Lutz. He goes reverse. Arwin with a rebound pulled from behind. That'll be team foul or penalty na nga. Ito San Mikofi. You see, Mark Arvid Santos loses his man right there. Easy pass by Dito Kay Mark Pingris. And the finish is Lange Blake. I'm out muna, Dito Sabi, and Triple Ops Brood called 45 beer. Tatlong beses, pinasarap. Arwin Santos at the line, splitting his charities. Bringing this deficit down to six. Sabi Van Play, better than one foul. So many misses. They left the fifth foul to Marshall Lasseter. Just going back. Too many missed free throws para dito sa Petron Blaze in the fourth quarter. The three out of ten. The chances are there. They just haven't been able to take advantage of it. Paroga in the front court. Kamagnot right in front of him. They go to James at that corner. Lasseter wanting to take it away. James with that big spin. King foul whistled on James Yelp. Ball will go back to Petron. So it's still 350 remaining here. Marshall Lasser has five fouls, but really doesn't care. Woo. Yeah, but yes, I'm gonna see Marcio. Back to live action. Last hit Turkish Tumbumawe. Dalawago Mambala Sakanya. They go to Millsap. Pingris right in front of him. 12 to shoot. Millsap with a pull up fade away. Elijah delivers the two points. You know, the Mark has to give him a little bit of space because he respects the speed of Elijah Millsap. So Elijah Millsap just a little jab step and to get that separation. Baba. Able to hit that outside shot. Baba sa apa, tangina habul dito ng Petron. Baraka under fire gets it over to James. Nine to shoot para sa si Sanmig. And Coach Tim wants to talk this one over. At nagaka mind games pa dito as James Yap. Atsi Marshall Lassiter 
Jaime Tata did that in a triple up screw called 45 beer. Tatlong beses pinasarap. 30 second variety. Hilingin dito ng Sammy Coffee. So, Nakakainit na, no? Kanina pa, pero... Starting to reach fever pitch here, Jason. Now, this was the next play after what you saw earlier. James calls a timeout. Marshall wants a basketball. James Yap says, you don't own the basketball. Pag-aari yan ng PBA. <laughs> Ikaw ang mag-abot. Oh, ginawa ng full timeout. Inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum sa pagpapatuloy Netong kahuli-huli ang larunga ng ating 2013 PLDD Telpat PBA Governor's Cup Finals Magu Marjon, Jason Webb, Erika Padilla, Nico Ramos ang inyong quartet delivering the action apat ang abante ni Sanwig kontra Petro Ay, Autobots na ni Septicons kampihan na basa ko eh alam ko kung kanino kakakampi kanino? The Septicons kontra Bida ko Kanilo, sa'yo lang. <laughs> sa bagay. <laughs> Ito na, San Mig. Gustong dagdaga ng kanilang kalamangan. Baroka on the run. Too strong. Mills up with our rebound. Arwin leaked out. Hindi siya nakita. Nandiyan na. Depensa na San Mig Kobe. They go back to Mills up. Attacking ping. Mills up na. Ipit. Gets it to Arwin. Santos couldn't pull the trigger. Gets it over to Kabagnot. Kabagnot. And a foul on that rebound. You know, the defense of San Mikofi is the one that is dictating kung anong gagawin ng Petron because they're just on the ball so hard. You can see that parang second option na lang yung ginagawang tira o ng uh, Petron, lalong-lalo na doon sa play na yun. So, Marfa Ardo now back on the floor para dito sa mga nakapote. Pinalitan si Chris Lutz. Still a four-point lead para dito sa San Mig Coffee. Baroka on the move. Pulls up from 17. Mark couldn't get it. Millsap for the rebound. Out-timing Edmund Siping. Millsap on the run. Drops it off. Arwin off the glass. Meron ng foul on the pass. It's the right idea. It's the, the right play is to push the basketball if you're Petron because it has been proven. I said this earlier. But to set up your defense and send me coffee, ah, pakahirap to more. Both teams in the penalty. Millsap takes care of that first free throw. One possession game at this point, Jason. One possession, but of course, Elijah Millsap hoping that it is just the easiest possession, a two-point shot if you can make this free throw. Keep in, you can. Ang tanong dito, you see a lot of free throws missed so on the side of Petron. Remember in minutes that I talked about, this might be an issue for a lot of these guys here. Pati yung minutes kanina binabanggit mo, last are stretching out, ha? Because this, this didn't even have a chance. This one is so, so short. And Coach G will burn his... One of his uh, remaining timeouts at it's at in a triple ops route called 45 beer. Tatlong beses, pinasarap. So two timeouts remaining para kay Coach Gia Banilla. Apat pa para sa San Mig, dalawang buo at dalawang trenta. You know, we're doing you all these timeouts and uh, only two will be left with Coach G. With the amount of minutes that these guys have played, so you want to use these timeouts to rest your players. And if you're lucky, at the point that you rest them, you can actually set up a good offensive set. Best place to set up an offensive set under the basket. It's the easiest place to score on an inbound. Two more right here. 
Let's have Elijah right here. Okay. Let's have uh, Marshall here on top. Okay. What's going to happen is, how will shot? If we have an open shot, take it. If not, we run the fight. Okay. Set him up. Elijah. Okay. okay. They're going to the regular sets, and uh, like we said, you try to use these timeouts to get some rest for your players, especially if you're on the offensive end. Just get enough of that boost. And at this last no, as he crashed to the floor earlier, he needs to stretch out now. Bill Sapp receives that pass. Petron is down by three. Bill Sapp. Flirting with that three-pointer, gets it out of the club. Lots of time if you're Petroni. Remember, it was a reset of their shot. Yosef attacking Pingris, puts it up, no. Rebound battle, Junmar has a hand on it. Nakanino, it's a scrub underneath. Jump ball on Tinawag. Looks like it's going to be Fajardo versus Ping. You just love it. This is game seven. And you can see guys that are just diving for the basketball you know, without regard for their limbs. So Pingris, big Fajardo. Big jump ball. Big jump ball here. Tatlong Abante na Sammy Coffey. Who will get possession? Fajardo taps it to Kabagnot. Last two minutes now. Time to power up with Cobra Energy Drink. Lakas dumping us. Oh, taken away by Blakely. Blakely looking to go all the way. Coach G now forced to call his penultimate timeout. Recharge your energy this time out with Cobra Energy Drink. Lakas, Nang Pinas, all of a sudden it's a five-point ball game. I think Sunday Coffee is a team that was built on defense. And you make the big play defensively here. Marcus Blakely able to get a steal here. Just able to have active hands. And that's what he's done. He's been a Mr. Everything para sa team na to. Gets the turnover and is able to convert that turnover into two points. A layup on the other side. So with a minute and 47 remaining, Petron can only stop the game one more time. Para sa Petron, itong sequence lang na itong napag-usapan nila doon as we take a look at the numbers from Marcus Blakely tonight. Lassiter, kasama si Fajardo, Babagnot, Millsap, and Santos. Babagyan na niya, Leo Campo, Pingris, Blakely, and Baroka. Millsap contra Blakely. Puts his head down. Arwin back to Millsap. Haba pa ng shot clock. Millsap in trouble. Arwin one-hander. That's good! <laughs> I mean, this is a guy can just, that can make all these crazy shots happen. The MVP of 2013 delivering the most critical two points there. Now they look for the stop. Yancy against Fajardo. They drop it off to Blakely. Blakely in traffic. It's the basket. Make a stop along the line. We always talk about execution and poise and in the end game. But you usually, it's always associated with offense. Offensively here, Petron gets the job done. But defensively, on the other side, they, another play that is misplayed. They don't locate Marcus Blakely. Marcus Blakely makes them pay. Blakely, 3 of 10 so far in this game. Make that 3 of 11. Fajardo clears it to keep the Sandwich lead at 5. 
Millsap on the move. Gets it to Arwin. Millsap once again. Kick offered by Lassiter and Diginame. Millsap loses his footing. That's his poor spacing. You can see that the problem with Petrol is that they didn't have any spacing there. And for a good team like San Mikofi right there, they are going to take full advantage of that. Bingris takes it away. Time out muna para sa San Mikofi. Recharge your energy this time out with Cobra Energy Drink. Lakas ng Pinas. Coach Tim Cole wanting to map out this next sequence to make it a three possession lead. We said that San Mikofi has been dictating what Petron is going to do. Right there, you can see there was no spacing whatsoever. Para dito San Mikofi. Also, that is a play that they don't run. They, they don't run a single high with Marshall and, and, uh, and Elijah Millsap. Sometimes, when there is pressure, tapos pagod ka, you tend to get away from the things that you do. And San Mikofi takes full advantage of that in that situation. San Mig Planet in attendance up on their feet, wanting to rock the Big Dome. They may just be 69 seconds away from this, capturing the Governor's Cup. This possession, a bigger possession para sa Petron than it is for San Mig. San Mig Coffee, the one thing that you just want to make sure, you want to be able to take some time off the clock. You don't want to turn the ball over for Petron. You have to think this is a must stop here. And look at Coach Tim. He elects to inbound all the way from the backcourt. Or they have to, rather. Because uh, Baroka against Cabagnot. Alex hounding him. But Baroka gets it across. And the front did not foul here. They are in the penalty. Ping offers the pick. Baroga zigzags his way to a pass. Pingre six to work with. Sakuragi against Fajardo. Three to shoot. Ping fouled. And he shoots to the line for two shots. Mark Pingre started out this game posting up the, the bigger Junmar Fajardo. And so far, he has actually out-rebounded Junmar. He is 4 for 4 from that 15-foot line tonight. Has been close in points. Bengalis remains perfect. And has made a better amount of free throws compared to Junmar today. This second free throw can push their lead to three possessions. 46.8 seconds to Lampo. Pingris misses. Pagkakato ng Petron. Down by only two three-pointers. Millsap step back three. No go. Arwin is there. Ayo pa rin. The bounce with the rebound. James Yup is fouled. So far, San Coffee again getting the the big plays, the plays that matter. Right there, they needed to be able to secure a rebound, able to do it, able to score when necessary, able to defend and make that big stop pag kinakailangan. Dito natin mapapansin. Remember, San Coffee is a team that has been longer together. Yung nucleus nila, mas matagal na magkasama kompera sa Petron, it seemed. In the end game, and many times we've seen in the end games of the other games, Petron still unsure to San Sila Pukuta. James Yap, though, could not put it away. Marshall Lasseter has fouled out of this contest. 11 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 steals para kay Lasseter. Yap at the line, 8 points across his number. Wala pa rin para kay James. Rebound battle, Pingris tracks it down. Pero natapak na to sa baseline. So still a chance for Petron as Coach G will burn their final timeout. They got to map out three sequences. A three-pointer, a stop, and another three. Recharge your energy this time out with Cobra Energy Drink, Lakas Dampinas. 
biggest issue, you mentioned it, no more time outs para dito kay Coach G. So he has to be able to tell his boys everything that they need to do in the final 30 seconds. Four seconds for Petron to try and make up six points. Let's see how they do on this very next offensive. This is a huge possession para dito sa Petron. Got to be able to score. Score quickly. Kabagdag to Millsap. Millsap in trouble. That shot block number five. And Arwin Santos is forced to give up the foul. Mark Baroga can ice this governor's cup out of the Sandvik. With these two free throws. Elijah Millsap. So it was on Millsap and Dipaki Santos. Elijah Millsap has been able to do everything so far heading to this championship, but has had trouble closing out here in game number seven. Turnover earlier. This one just slipping off his hand. Didn't even really have a decent attempt at that shot. So again, Petron unable to execute the offense when necessary. Baroka rattles on the first. That's a seven-point lead. That is a San Coffee. It was Arwin Santos that fouled out. Let's see if Baroka can push their lead to eight. Ringless pad sa pangalawa. Kabagnot hoping against hope. Launches one from deep. No go, and that should do it. Sam McGuffey and Mark Pingris is fouled by Millsap. They will be on their way to capturing the Governor's Cup, Jason. Kalma lang daw, sabi ni Sakuragi. Number one versus number two. Top two teams in the Governor's Cup squared off. And it has been a treat all the way to the final seconds. Mark Pingris. Just dominant at that position sa araw na to. Millsap fouls out with 25, 11, and 4 assists. This capacity crowd chanting. Wanting. Bigness to bag finals MVP. takes care of that one. Take a look at June Marfardo on that Petron bench. Nothing to be ashamed of para sa Petron, especially June Marfardo. What performances he put up here at napakahaba pa ng magiging karir ng batang yon. But this night is about to belong to Mark Pingres and the San Miguel Coffee Mixers. As this Sea of Blue is now taking over the floor of the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Congratulations to the San Coffee Mixers. The title that eluded them last season is now theirs. Pagsaktan Lobo, kanila na ang Governor's Cup dito. What a Game 7. This final score, Jason, this is the largest lead of the game. Coach Tim Cohn capturing his 15th 
PBA title, tying his idol, Coach Baby Daluban. The Sun make coffee right now. They will host that, hoist that trophy, but remember, hindi naging madali itong konferensya na to para sa Sun make coffee. They started out very flat this conference. They were one and three, but then they figured things out. Talung lalo na nung nakabalik na si Mark Bingris, but eventually they got everyone healthy. And then in the end, here in the finals, finding the right players individually to come up big in situations and as a team, just be, being able to do what they were hoping to do last conference with almost the same group. San Coffee champions of your Governor's Cup. 87-77 is your final score. The second championship in the last five conferences para sa San Coffee. All five of those, they were in at least the semifinals. Excellence being displayed here by this franchise. Smiles all around, even Alain Maligsi is whooping it up on the floor. Of course, they lost him to an ACL injury. How much more deadly will these guys become when he returns? Pero sa puntang ito, Jason, pakipagkwentuhan na tayo kay Coach Tim Cohn. Coach Tim, right now, you have just captured your idol, Coach Baby Daluban, with your 15 PBA championship. What is going through your mind? I'm just very humbled at the moment, you know. Our guys worked so hard for it, and, uh, you know, I think we were the underdogs coming in, and, and you know, Petron is such a well-constructed team. Thank you, bud. And this guy, what can you say? I mean, just so much heart. So much heart, bud. Coach, you know, seeing that smile. But, uh, you know, the, the whole thing is, you know, I'm, I'm so humbled because I get to... My idol, Baby Delupan, you know, he's been, you know, when I was growing up, he was the guy, he was the man that we all watched uh, and, and watched him coach Crispa and and uh, even great taste later on. I mean, I, I've watched him all my life and uh, it's just so humbling to be able to tie a great man, great coach like that. Uh, I just, I'm kind of speechless. I don't know what to say. Coach, when we see that smile, when we see that smile and we see that, um, you know, although you know, every every championship is different, and it's similar in some ways. Take us through this this uh, this um, uh, this this journey that this team took uh, from the start, which was very very, which seemed like uh, a little bit rocky all the way to the end. Well, we were, you know, it's, it's well publicized that we uh, we started 0 and 2, 1 and 3, and uh, um, you know, we never lost faith. Uh, in fact, we felt you know early adversity would help us later on, and. Then we had that, you know, great series against Alaska. Uh, um, you know, we really went through the ringer on that one. And, and then Moralco, a corporate rival. And then here to our sister team, Petron. You know, then I think, you know, they didn't have much adversity through all that time because they just dominated all the way through. They were incredible. And uh, I think we just were able to give, us a little, give them a little bit of adversity and, and uh, uh, find a way to win. And I'm still, I, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I'm still shocked, uh, but our guys did a great job uh, all the way from, you know, King and James and PJ, Marcus, uh, Mark, Joe, I mean, uh, all the way down and the guys in the practices, it was really something special. Coach, how about the support of the millions of San Mc Planet members, especially this capacity crowd who never gave up on you guys? Wow, 20,000 people here today. Woo! I am so proud of that, so stoked that we could have that many people come and watch our games and then we could entertain them like we did. And they're, you know, they're just great fans. I, I was on Twitter and after we were zero and two, I tweeted, you know, I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry to the fans, but stay with us. We hope we'll make you proud later on. And uh, uh, I'm really killing that we were able to make them proud here today. Congratulations once again, Coach Sim. We'll let you celebrate with your team. Thank you. 15 PBA championships for Coach Tim and this Tim Conera, five uh, straight conferences na at least semis at dalawang kampionato na kuha pa nila. And, and um, people will, might not be able to put it in perspective kung ganong 
kagtindi kung gaano kagaling gaano kaganda naging uh, you know term as coach or uh, the career as a coach of coach Tim Cole remember he's done it with different teams he's done it with different personalities and able to do it well the game has changed dramatically all through those years at yung binanggit na kauna-unahan ni coach Tim kanina Mark Pires best player of our game 19 points 17 rebounds all puso para sa iyo Mark Woo! um Kuno na, nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord. Uh, nagpray kami ng wife ko kagabi. Uh, pinagpray namin na win or lose, talagang pipray namin si Lord. Talagang magpipray kami sa kanya. Uh, sa uh, lahat ng mga fans. Kayo po, nagbibigay na lakas sa amin. Maraming salamat po pati sa fans po ng ano, Pedron. Salamat po sa pagpunta nyo rito. Um, napakalakas po ng, ng team nyo. So, Pero um, salamat, uh, talagang inisip ko lang, uh, laro lang talaga eh. Um, uh, salamat sa mga, sa, sa mami ko, sa mga pinsan ko, alam mo nanonood, nagbe-pray sa amin. Maraming salamat po um, kay Coach Tim Bon sa, alam mo, grabe yung sakripisyo niya. Sobrang... Mahal na mahal ko yung coach ko na yan eh. Ay pinapagalitan ako lagi. <laughs> uh, Salad po pa ng mga taga Puso Rubio. Sa kuya ko. At inaalay ko itong... Uh, inaalay ko itong laro ko ito sa pamagin ko. Kaya Ivan, alam kong nanunod ka. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Mark, 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 ito, itong game na to no? Nagsimula ka, ang tindi ka agad ang simula mo. First six points for your team. And it was a different Mark Pingris. Nakikita sa mga mata, it seemed in game six parang unfinished business. Yun nangyari doon dahil hindi ka nga nakalaro ng, na, doon sa dulot dahil may naramdaman ka. Ano yung mindset mo at bakit nakita nga natin yung Mark Pingris? Grabe, grabe yung uh, laro. Simula pa lamang. Um, hindi ko na inisip yung ano eh, kumbaga yun nga ako doon nung game 6 na spray na ako so hindi ko na inisip yun nung pagpunta ko dito sa game ang sabi ko lang samaan ako ni Lord talagang ito, uh, ginabayan niya naman ako na hindi na masumakit yung paa ko so salamat talaga sa mga nagpray sa mga kay small group ko maraming maraming salamat sa inyo alam kong nandiyan kayo lag laging nagpipray sa amin so alam, gusto lang ah uh, Lahat ng mga taga po si Rubio, um, maraming salamat. Pati sa mayor namin, alam ko nanunod kayo ha. Salamat. Yun lang, kila kayo Dodi sa LA. Thank you. What a year para sa iyo, Mark. Yeah. FIBA Asia. Tapos ngayon, <laughs> kampiyon ka na naman Ayun, ah. dito sa PBA. Gusto ko na rin magpahinga, pagod na pagod na rin ako. <laughs> Congratulations sa second. Pag-celebrate ka na muna sa team mo. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yan ang uh, uh, grabing stretch para kay Ping. Also, Mark Ping is actually our uh, best player of the game today. I mean, it's pretty easy to name him as best player today. 19.7 rebounds, 5 block shots, and overall dominating performance from Pingris. So, San McCoffey on top of the PBA once again. The crown jewel para sa kanila mula ng Pure Foods franchise. Aba, PBA title na ang nagawa nila. Number four, all-time na sila dito sa PBA, Jason. And of course, Coach Tim Cohn coming up, coming to this program a couple of years back and then he said, nakikita niya itong team na to can have a, re a run of uh, being extremely good. And he has been able to do that with him at the helm of this team, tying the great baby Dalupa. No? They want to be the crown jewel of the San Miguel Corporation. And in the last couple of seasons, sila nga yung nakasunggit ng dalawang kampiyonato. They've had the most number of championships and actually the only team that has got a championship for that corporation. At para nga po, masimulan na natin yung formal ceremony on the floor. Salin na natin sa ating kwentuhan si Aaron Taide. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the 2013 PBA Governor's Cup awarding ceremony. Sa kapos si Aaron Atayde, and we had a fantastic Governor's Cup all the way from the beginning until the very end. Punong puno ng drama, punong puno ng action. Of course, it has been fantastic basketball all throughout. Now, before we award our champions, first let us give recognition to our first runner-ups here in the PBA Governor's Cup. They fought all throughout. A lot of people were doubting them, but they proved all of them wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, our runner-up team, the Petron Blaze 
Boosters! And they will be awarded by PBA Commissioner Chito Salud and PBA Chairman of the Board and Governor of Barangay Nebra San Miguel, Mr. Robert Nunn. Finishing on top of the standings, number one at the end of the eliminations and forcing a game number seven. finals all the way until the very end now it is time to award our champions we call up on stage Lester Alvarez Val Acuna Jewel Bonferrada Sherwin Gago Leo Nahorda Rafi Rivas Elaine Maliksi Yancy Del Campo, Alex Maliari, Mark Baroja, Joe Demers, the scoring apostle Peter June Simone, Marcus Blakely, the Pinoy Sakuragi. Mr. Rene Pardo, the assistant coaches, Jeffrey Carriasso, Johnny Aparietos, Olsen Rosella, and Richard Del Rosario. And of course, team manager, the captain, Alvin Patrimonio. And last but definitely not the least, tying the record for most championships in the PBA with 15, head coach, Coach Tim Cohn. Championship trophy by PBA Commissioner Chito Salud and PBA Chairman of the Board and Governor of Barangay Nebra San Miguel, Mr. Robert Nod. Now may we call on Mr. Rene Pardo for a short message to the San Coffee Planet. Of course, there will be a bonus. Well, congratulations, guys. Uh, it was really hard work. Seven game series. Kung akala nilong iba, madali yung dinaanan ng San Miguel Coffee, napakahirap. Petron, Blaze Boosters is a very worthy opponent. Talagang pinahirapan ho kami up to the last, uh, up to the last game. Siguro kahit na 15 game series, aabuti ng 15 games ito. Well, I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to our bosses, uh, Boss Danding Coanco and Mr. Ramon Ang for the support that they've given this team and the San Miguel Pure Foods uh, Company headed by Mr. Bucha Leo, unfortunately he's not around and the executives of San Miguel Pure Foods are all here with their, uh, their man Kong and, uh, and their family and of course our uh, San Miguel Coffee Planet Kung wala ako kayo, wala rin ako kami rito. Maraming maraming salamat to sa inyo. Thank you and congratulations, sir. And now we would like to hear from the man that has tied Coach Baby Dalupan as being the winningest coach in PBA history, Coach Tim Cohn.
this was not about me. I, I love you guys for doing this for me. I just really love you for it. But this is really yours, fellas. You did the work. You did it all. And I'm so proud of you. And I'm really proud of the fans for, wow, again. You're really special up there. Look at the balloons. And thank you so much for coming and being here and, and just really pushing us to another championship. These guys love you so much. Huh? Thank you again. Thank you, Coach, and congratulations. And now we will give a little time to our PBA Governor's Cup Finals MVP. It will be awarded by PBA Commissioner Chito Salud, of course, PBA Press Corps President Muso Castillo, also Barry Pasqua, the Vice President of Bandera, and Waylon Galvez, Secretary of Bulletin. Of course, also will be the CEO, Berjaya Pizza, Mr. Paul Su, and the COO, Ms. Maria Castro, as well as the Marketing Director, Ms. Marifi Serafin, of course, brought to us by uh, Papa John's Pizza. Mr. Muso, who is our Finals MVP? Um, the crowd actually spoke kanina with still three minutes to go. PBA Press Corps and Papa John's are very, very proud to hand the MVP award to Mark Pingris. Coffee Planet want to hear a short message from your finals MVP, the Pinoy Sakuragi, Mark Pingris. Uh, once again, uh, nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord sa uh, reward nito. Nagpapasalamat ako sa mga teammates ko na tiwala sa akin. Kay Coach, sa mga fans, sa mga boss namin sa San Miguel, sa wife ko, I love you so much sa pagkalaga mo sa akin. Uh, sa lahat ng ano, sa family ko, sa lahat ng mga taga Pusurubyo, Pangasinan, salamat po sa lahat ng mga Ilocano, salamat po lahat talaga. Pamuhay po kayo lahat, maraming salamat po. Mark Fingers, everybody, the PBA Governor's Cup Finals M. VP. Congratulations once again to our champions, the San McCoffey Mixers. And that will do it for me here on the floor. Thank you sa lahat po ng San McCoffey Planet to the Petroniverse. So yan nga po ang ating ceremonia. The formal ceremonies on the floor. All smiles, of course, up and down the order by the San McCoffey. Of course, I mean, I mean it's, a, it's been a long long season remember we had to take that break in the middle because of the FIBA and uh, for the players it was a little bit uh, you could say it's an it was an extended season sabi ni Mark Karina wag gusto nyo lang magpahinga pero mas masarap magpahinga pag champion ka pero dahil nga dun sa long break bago mag FIBA Asia e eh, sandali lang ang aantay nating lahat dahil starting November 17 magbubukas na ang 2014 season ng inyong Philippine Basketball Association and all games will be aired on TV5. Kami po, eh tapos na. Dito on the floor. Pero wag kayo mag-alala. Anong inaabangan mo kanina ba? Yung celebration sa dugout. Lipat po kayo ng channel sa Action TV, the Sports 5 Center, and the dugout celebration will be coming your way sa Action TV 41. Sangalan, ni Jason Webb, Eric Abadilla, Nico Ramos, at sa lahat ng bumubuo ng ating team, headed by Direct Julius Melo, producer natin si Randy Victoria, executive producer natin si Rafi Ramano, ang statsman natin na si Roy Lopez, at production head na si Direct Dong Kapinbuyan. Magumarjo, nagpapasalamat sa inyong pananod. This has been the PBA Live on TV5.
programa ay rated PG. Patnubay at gabay.